Scientist Live to talk healthy living with his vitamins and supplements. Making healthy decisions this new year? Learn about his monthly specials and more. And now, the man you've all been waiting for, Andrew Lessman. Oh, and Adam Freeman. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Monday Night Show. My name is Adam Freeman. I can still smell all the garlic from the kitchen with the amazing Helen. Um, we have a big show planned for you this evening. Tonight, we're kind of turning the spotlight onto you and making sure that your 2018 can be as happy and healthy as is possible. Oh, Andrew, please, come and join me. <laughs> I was wondering where you went. I'm carrying my tea out here. Where's Adam? I hear his voice, but I, I don't know where This is going. perfect. Well, they said you should start over here because nobody ever sees look, this bit. Look how pretty this is. Now, what's pretty setting is this, Andrew? I think this looks like the mountains in Colorado. It does look like the oh, mountains of Colorado. My microphone's not on. <laughs> That's the, just shout louder. <laughs> you, you probably turned it off. This is your show, not mine. <laughs> They're going to come and turn your mic on. Okay. I, I'll okay. fill for a bit, yeah. Okay, <laughs> that, that wasn't how we rehearsed it, but it turned out so much better. Um, if you are joining us live for the first time and you've never, ever seen one of Andrew's Monday Night Show takeovers, these are a blast because we get to cover an extraordinary amount of ground. Um, and, and we kind of, I mean, Andrew, tonight... I, I forgot, I had a long list of questions. I forgot them. I just looked at the top of the list and there was a, a question about gum health and dental health and things like that. We'll talk about CoQ10 later in the hour. Really commonly asked question. You don't need a special formula for gum health. The best thing you can do is all your things for oral hygiene, but CoQ10 is the best ingredient for oral health. And there's so many of you that yep. did ask questions, and of course, we'll take some phone calls as well this evening. Like this is so, I mean, it's one of those times, Andrew, where I think, because on a Today Special visit, you have so much to get through with those it's, offers. Well, the Today Special, we focus on the most popular products, and, and what I try to do is focus on the information, because it's not about, if it was just about selling the product, we could have it on for five minutes and be done. But what it's really about for me is spending, I try to spend a third of the time on the science, on the research, a third of the time going over reviews, and then a third of the time dealing with the most common questions about that product. So that's how I try to divide it up, um, which means we don't really have time to talk about other products because we try to spend 30, 35 minutes on a Today Special. Right. So it doesn't leave a lot of time if we do two airings in a two hour block of that Today Special. There's so many wonderful things to discover on the website when you search Andrew Lessman. So we will cover so much ground tonight. Andrew, I have heard you say in virtually uh, every visit that I'm with you that sleep is one of the very foundations of a quality life. Well, without question, um, whether we consciously think it's important to a quality life or not, it's, it's vital to our brain. Yes. The, what our brain does when we sleep, that unconscious process that is going on in our brain, even dreaming is part of that process. The healing, the rewiring, the, the brain when we go to sleep, the entire body when we go, go to sleep, there is, it's, we kind of think when we go to sleep, our body doesn't work anymore. Gosh, that's when our body really goes to work to take care of ourselves so we can face the next day with all our faculties and all our capacities at 100%. Unfortunately, our days nowadays are so challenging, are so full, are so stimulating emotionally, professionally, personally, otherwise, that it's hard to ramp down. It's hard to, it's hard to find that relaxed state that our brain normally goes to sleep. For me, the easiest thing for me, no matter how busy my day is, uh, and my mom has always commented that she marvels that as a child, whether it was as a child, I could be running around like a lunatic, put my head on the pillow and I'm gone. Really? And, and even today I could be on the phone doing whatever and I put my head on the pillow, much to Muriel's dismay, and <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> and so it's, and for me sometimes just reading a book. And one of the bad things about, for me reading a book is that the book by my bedside, it takes me a year to get through it because I fall asleep after reading one page. My point is we can all find behaviors that are relaxing. Don't watch TV in your bed, I hate to say it. Don't have an electronic device right in front of your face that's stimulating. I find if I read an electronic device book, I could read 10, 20 pages and I won't be sleepy. If I look at a real book, in a page or two, I'm sleepy. So the trick is finding the things, they call it sleep hygiene, creating the environment, finding the things that create a relaxing state because we need to find that relaxing state if we're gonna go to sleep. Going to sleep isn't a matter of flipping a switch. Going to sleep is a gradual physiologic process and we have to support that process. We've just all, with our crazy lives, forgotten it. And, and this product, not a drug, not a medicine, 
what this product endeavors to do is naturally provide you that soothing, relaxing state where you then reacquire the habits for sleep. I leave the drugs to others and they are habit forming and they cause a hangover. Uh, hopefully, if you work on sleep hygiene, no caffeine late in the day, eat the right amount of food at the right time to be conscious of what gives you a more relaxing uh, state of mind before you go to bed. If you need that helping hand, if there's just those nights where you do find it hard to switch off, it's been hard at work, it's been hard with the kids, it's been hard dealing with everyday life with the struggles that we go through, through. What nighttime has done for so many people is just help lull you into a comfortable, restorative night's sleep. Maybe you've never seen nighttime before. It is a product that is incredibly affordable, but so doggone effective with no worries about it being addictive or you, you can't live without it. If, if, if we've described you in any way, shape or form, if you're fed up with those restless nights, try nighttime. You know, you talk about a natural solution. Andrew, this is one of those solutions. And that's that's what it was designed to be. It was designed to be, we because it's a comprehensive formula, we don't use too much of any one ingredient. And that's really the intent behind the formula. It's not designed to, to knock you out. It's, it's designed to never give you a hangover, but just to provide a, a relaxing, soothing environment. If you really want to be knocked out, I mean, there's a whole long list of, <laughs> of medications you could talk to your doctors about, which I think are like Ambien and Lunesta. You mm -hmm. see, the, see the ads on TV all the time. And of course, there's the, the benzodiazepines, which are relaxing medications, like whatever, Valium or Xanax and things, which are horribly habit-forming. And also, they, they all affect brain chemistry and things, so you know, just follow your doctor's counsel and your doctor's advice, but the, those medications, these every, they might, their commercials might seem very light and airy-fairy and sweet and beautiful images, but they're serious medications that have serious effects and serious side effects. So. We should do our very best naturally, whether it's how, what we eat, what we do, caffeine, there's all sorts of things. Again, just go online and look up sleep hygiene, yeah. um, keeping a sleep diary. There's things we could do if we really focus on sleep and give it the thought that it requires. It's so important to the quality of our life. You can't have a quality day without a good quality night's sleep. So if we give it the attention it deserves in a calm, relaxed, soothing fashion, I think it will, if you patiently do so, it'll return the benefits. I'd love to make mention as well of um, melatonin, which is something else that a lot of people ask about. Where does this come in? Just on its own. We have melatonin in the nighttime. But some folks just want melatonin on its own. And for many folks, they, they look at melatonin not even just for sleep. They'll take it at night, but they also take it as a protective antioxidant because it does have antioxidant roles in the body. So role in the body. So it's something that melatonin, obviously an extremely, extremely affordable product. So it's something that if if you just want Mother Nature's natural tools for creating a, a wonderful, relaxing night's sleep. It's nighttime with melatonin and other botanicals, or it's melatonin on its own. So with that in mind, if you're looking for nighttime or melatonin, they are available, of course, online at hsn.com, where you can call us. What we don't spend a lot of time doing tonight is certainly going through prices, but please know there are special pricing all the way through. So we're gonna head over this way to talk about something that I know, Andrew, you certainly have put a lot into, which is the world's greatest, the world's finest, the world's best ultimate whey protein. Yeah, there's, we, we looked at doing whey protein for a number of years and probably more than a decade. And all of the whey protein sources I was looking at, unfortunately, they all contain soy. Right. And, and the reason why whey protein is important for, because for many people, I happen to like soy protein, especially for weight loss, mm -hmm. but for many people, soy is a problem. So whether it's al allergic problems or things like that. So we were trying to do a whey protein isolate. It was hard to find a whey protein isolate that was soluble. Uh, and, and also, I had a long, I'm like the nightmare for any dairy when I would come to finding a whey protein. I say, okay, it has to be fat free, has to be carb free, right. has to be sugar free, has to be cholesterol free, um, and it has to have, be taste neutral, it has to be highly soluble, and they can't use soy as a solubilizing agent. Wow. Which all of those that you put that shopping list, that wish list, basically for a couple of decades, that meant I had no whey protein. <laughs> so. But eventually, eventually, and, and this is just probably about three years ago, eventually we were able to have a specific whey protein made for us that met all of those characteristics. If you look at this, this chart here, um, 
and it's it's quite an impressive accomplishment. So each scoop is 10 grams of pure whey protein isolate. Um, you don't want the concentrate, you want the isolate. If you get the concentrate, you're getting fat, you're getting saturated fat, you're getting cholesterol, carbohydrates, sugars, lactose, you don't want that. Right. Um, especially this whey protein, even if you're lactose intolerant, I recommend trying a small amount of it just to be sure. But we've gotten tons of reviews, many reviews from folks who are lactose intolerant. This causes no problems at all because there's only traces, barely measurable traces right. of lactose. So uh, as I said, no fat, no trans fat, no saturated fat, no cholesterol, no carbohydrate, no sugar, which for most people who are looking at uh, higher protein diets, the last thing you want in your protein supplement is sugar and carb. Right. You're trying to avoid that in your diet, you don't want it in your protein supplement. Low sodium, no added soy, unlike most sources of whey protein, uh, no flavors, no sweeteners, no artificial ingredients. And bizarrely, it's soluble. Uh, and that's what we were able to do that's so unique. The way it's granulated makes, because typically, um, especially a product like this, that's pure protein, mm. when you're dealing with something that's pure protein, typically the last thing it's going to do is have any capacity, I'll even put two scoops, 20 grams. Okay. Um, it's gonna have any capacity, oops, at all, to dissolve. But what you'll see is this is incredibly unique whey protein, you could already see it's dissolving. Typical whey protein, it's or typical protein at all, it would seem completely insoluble. And that's 20 grams of protein and about probably eight ounces of water, I think. So if I'm looking at the new year and wanting to be healthier, wanting to eat better, wanting to uh, reduce my you know, calorific intake in terms of the bad stuff, incorporating whey protein into a smoothie, just mixing it, um, this is going to help nurture a better lifestyle. Well, especially if you're exercising, um, maintaining your lean body mass. If you're reducing calories, maintaining your lean body mass is the key to, to maintaining that calorie burning in your body. So as we exercise, of course, we burn calories. When we do exercise, we stimulate the creation of more muscle tissue, because especially for lifting weights and things like that, res resistance training. We need protein to make that muscle tissue. It's made of protein. So we need quality protein to accomplish that. So, and the more muscle tissue we have, the more fat we burn, the harder it is to gain fat. Again, that's why one of the keys to, I think one of the reasons, reasons throughout my lifetime that I've never tended to put on weight is because I always have maintained my lean body mass. So I might be significantly older than I was 30 or 40 years ago, but I still lift weights. I still, I love to do my aerobic training, my mountain biking and hiking and running and all of that. But I still maintain, I still do weight training, I right. still do resistance training to maintain that muscle mass because that muscle mass, that's where we burn calories. If we don't have muscle mass, it dramatically reduces our calories, our calorie burning capacity, our ability to burn fat. So comparatively speaking, and I know there's only a few seconds left, but just to, to compare this product as an ultimate whey protein versus what I can get in a health food store, how would the comparison, how would they stock up now side you, by side? That chart I showed at the beginning, you won't find anything like it. And also, I believe this is our monthly special. It is, yeah. It's our monthly special. Yeah. But you won't find anything like it. And also, I just wanted to point out, I drank... Is he? The, <laughs> I drank the, the 20 grams of... I went to like the gym. Iron Man. I went to the gym before I got here, so that's good. Um, <laughs> and I didn't... It was, I was funny, in the room, I didn't have time to do my protein, so it's good I did there it here. There you go, it's a plan. But you could see that that was just, with a spoon in a glass, 20 grams of protein and about 8 or 10 ounces of water. Right. Uh, it just shows how remarkably soluble it is. You can mix it with a vegetable smoothie because it has no taste. When I drank that, it tastes like very, very dilute non-fat milk. So it has a little bit of a dairy flavor, but it has no lactose, no carb, no sugar, no fat, no cholesterol. So it truly is the perfect protein. And you're not going to find anything like it. And even half a scoop at five grams of this is still a significant amount of the highest quality protein. If you'd like to order, um, of course, always available online. Or you can call us if you'd like to ask Andrew a question. It's 1-866-376-8255. Uh, we're going to head over to a, an item which last time we aired this one, one of our uh, Monday Night Show takeovers caused a huge stir. Andrew, there is obviously a lot of buzz around acetyl L-carnitine, and I can now finally say it, but your pricing, your quality, your customer has responded significantly no, to this. We have 
um, and now we have a larger size, a 360 capsule size. We, this wasn't, we don't have any charts or anything like that because this wasn't planned right. uh, to be in the show. But we were able to have a small inventory available. Wonderful. And acetyl L-carnitine, we, we added that to the Secure Today special the other day. Yep. Acetyl L-carnitine is the principal molecule, and it's appropriate to speak about after we just spoke about our whey protein. Mm. It's the principal molecule involved in fat burning in our body because fat is stored in our body, but obviously fat is not burned in the same place it's stored. It, it's burned in something called our mitochondrion. It's sort of the little powerhouses in each cell. So each cell has thousands of mitochondrion, but the fat has to be moved to the mitochondrion. And in our body, everything that moves around is moved around purposefully. The molecule that moves fat to the part of the cell where it's burned is carnitine. And acetyl L-carnitine is an extra special form of carnitine because it also provides benefits to our brain because it could pass through the blood-brain barrier. Acetyl L-carnitine is a principal ingredient in our memory and brain formula. So we had very, very limited supply the last time. When I first introduced carnitine, it cost multiples of it was today of what it does today. So it's, it's nice to be able to have an ingredient that's so much more affordable, like CoQ10, than it was decades ago. And I will say, because, you know, really for the entire show, we are really good with everything we have. This is a very limited opportunity. It's yes. something special. It's something Andrew doesn't get to do all the time, so we're excited to do it. Andrew, your, your mindset in terms of the healthy mind and body, was it always like that? Or is this something that emerged uh, as you kind of got past the teenage years? Well... I think like all of us, um, as, as we age, we all, even in my profession doing what I do, we all tend to prioritize and think about things differently. Um, as I've gotten older, it's less about how quickly I can run up a mountain or mountain bike up a mountain and, and really how well I can maintain just my ability to run for the next 20 or 30 years and, and how well I can maintain my ability to, to, to manage the information because my job requires that I absorb and lear, learn large amounts of information and be able to uh, coherently provide that information to you. It's, it's not necessarily an easy task. Um, it's something easy to do if my brain continues to function as it's functioned my entire life. But like anything, if we really want to maintain the gifts that we have or the faculties that we have, it requires a commitment to them. It requires that we, I always say, what do they say? Um, God helps those who help themselves. Right. Um, so the way I look at it is I want to make sure I help myself as much as possible. So I have the, the greatest opportunity to do what I love and do what I enjoy. And I think all of us have things that we love to do and enjoy, but it's, it's hard to enjoy life. And when we talk about acetyl L-carnitine, we could talk about its fat burning role, mm. or we could talk about its role in supporting the health of our brain and the function of our brain. And certainly it's hard to continue to enjoy a, a high quality, a great quality life if we feel as though our faculties are not remaining with us. So I think it's something that we should all attend to. Nothing we could do that's better for our mental factor, faculties than ex exercise, being active, well, even if it's just walking around. These are things that are just invaluable. Being at our ideal weight and being active. We think about that for cardiovascular risk and all of that, but, but it's the healthiest thing we could do for our brain. You know, I, doing um, the shows with you and seeing what goes into the different products, what's become very interesting to me is this idea that you, it's not about taking a chance. You simply flat out will not do anything unless there is an abundance of support to prove the effects it can have. Oh, yeah. And, and what's most evident in that regard isn't the product that's products that we've made. It's the products we've never made. Mm. Back in the days when all the supplement companies were making products with ephedra and ephedrine, I... I stood on TV and talked about it being dangerous and right. said I'd never make a product, no matter how many people would be willing to buy it, I won't do it. When Dr. Oz had everybody going crazy about green coffee bean extract mm. for weight loss, it's an interesting botanical, but not for weight loss, red raspberry, red raspberry ketone for weight loss, we were getting thousands and thousands of requests for it. I refused to make it. So the products that we make are products that have science. Um, the science on acetyl L-carnitine is incredibly straightforward because the, the very enzyme in your body that moves fat to the site where it's burned is called carnitine. 
acyl transferase, carnitine, the molecule we're talking about here, acyl meaning a fatty group, transferase, an enzyme that transfers something. So carnitine acyl transferase moves fats to the desired location. And, and what we're talking about here is acetyl L carnitine, a form of carnitine that's highly bioavailable and bioactive, and a form of carnitine that there's research on carnitine and its role in exercise capacity and, and fat burning in our body. So all of my products tend to be remarkably straightforward, and then we also make them in a fashion that rather than putting this in a rock hard tablet, um, making it difficult to swallow and hard on your stomach, we just put it in a capsule. And it's an ultra fine powder in a capsule. And this carnitine is kind of weird. It's kind of a, a weird, fluffy ingredient. It's high, oh, it is. hard to encapsulate because it's highly hygroscopic. And in the humidity here, if we left it on the counter here, it would almost do something called deliquescing. Wow. Deliquescing means that something can absorb moisture out of the atmosphere and almost go into solution on its own. Huh. So it's interesting, but that's, that's why this material is so hard to encapsulate because of that, that weird fluffy property. It almost looks like, a, like small little snowflakes on the counter here. It really does. Yep. It's fluffy, it's just like you said. Yep. Well, um, we're racing along, we're moving along. If you'd like to order this one, fantastic opportunity for those yep. of you that it's had emailed me about it as well. Very this limited. Um, Andrew, it, boy oh boy, uh, we were talking backstage about uh, friends and family members who seem to be struggling this time of year. I think a lot of us are facing just a wave of, of, of just colds and flus and everything else. No, it, it's, it's been a challenging, challenging season. Yeah. It's, it's yet another time. You know, one of the nicest things I like about, um, and we can't get obsessed about it, we can't get over, overly overwrought about it, but one of the nicer things I like about the activity monitors, it gives us accountability, accountability about our mm. sleep. Yeah. Because the key for me, and, and I'm sure many of you are like me, that the key to my immune system remaining strong, I could tolerate a lot of craziness and stress in my life. The key is still getting a good night's sleep. Mm. I talked about this the other day, that one of the hardest things for me is when Muriel's family's in Europe, when we travel to Europe, right. nine hours of jet lag, it, it's just, that's not good for How sleep. How many days does it's, it take for you to adjust? I find that within a few days, at least I'm sleeping normally. Within two or three days, I'm, I sleep pretty easily, I'm sleeping normally, okay. but not completely. For me to fully, fully adjust, we need to spend more than 10 days there. Wow. And wow. then when you read the research, for you to fully adjust with your digestive system and your biochemistry and cir your circadian rhythms, you're really talking about a month. Wow, so, I didn't know that. But my point basically is that our immune system is, is the victim of so many of the right. things that we encounter in our lives. And, and so what I, as opposed to <laughs> companies will talk about their supplements being a cure or treatment prevention for colds and flu, that's silliness, nothing is further from the truth. All we can do in terms of dealing with this time of year is focus on the quality of our sleep, focus on what we're eating, being adequately hydrated, making sure that we're paying attention if we're around people who might have things, and if that's the case, keeping sort of a healthy distance, washing our hands, just being conscious and being conscientious. That's all we can do. And the only thing we've done with this product, and it's virtually a perfectly reviewed product, is we, in a very straightforward fashion, put the nutrients and the botanicals, the plant-based ingredients that have been associated in studies with supporting and promoting a healthy immune system. That's all we can do, that's all you can do. So hopefully, we, we have a little conspiracy of our own to make a, a less fruitful environment right. for those viruses and bugs by getting adequate, adequate sleep, by eating a little bit better. I really try to make an effort you know, in the, the, this, the latter part of the year, especially for me, I know in, in January, in December and January, I have a show at the beginning of January, I have shows, in, uh, shows at the beginning of December, and then I have shows at the beginning of January, and I've done this for, I think it's now 27, 28 years. Right. And I, I said this the other day, how did I manage to never be sick this time of year? <laughs> I just, it's I have amazing. no clue. I just was very, very fortunate and blessed that it worked out that way. But not just fortunate and blessed, but that's the time of year where I tell my friends, nope, 
I have to go to bed early. Right. It's, you know, my shows are a couple of weeks away. I have to pay, behave and pay attention. And I think it just is a testament or underscores that if we do pay attention, we can mo mostly kind of dodge the bullet if we pay attention and support our immune system. If you would like to help support your immune system and give it really as much of a fighting chance as we can, you know, Immune Factors is a product that for several years now has been so consistently highly reviewed as really helping. So, you know, it's about taking those little steps, the little things that we can do to help make a difference, and that's what this is doing. You know, this is a time of year when we are thinking about goals, we're thinking about plans. Um, Andrew? What's funny about this product, if someone asked me in advance, which would be a, a product that is almost like 97, 98% positive mm. reviews, that it's, I think, rated 4.8 stars, um, I wouldn't have guessed this. You wouldn't? No, I agree. Not because it isn't a great product, but I think a product like this, people will judge really harshly. <laughs> so, and I'm, I'm of course, the, the, the victim or the beneficiary of everyone's perspective, but I, I think it just goes to show that it, it's just a very straightforward product and it's incredibly comprehensive. You get high levels of vitamin C, which is where everyone's immune support starts. You get all the appropriate B vitamins, and then you get the most important botanicals, but all profit, properly and perfectly standardized to get the maximum benefits. How many per day, one per day? I, what's funny, I, I don't take this every day. Okay. I only take this, I spoke about this the other day with Colleen, that I only take this when I know I'm not getting adequate sleep, right. when I know I'm getting challenges to my immune system, that's when I take this. And what I'll usually take is a couple a day. Okay. And, uh, and if I felt I was coming down with something, you know, I also take a couple of days simply because I want to support my immune system because that's how we deal with those sorts of things. This is not a cure or a treatment, but our immune system is the treatment. So we want to do everything we can to support our immune system. And I'll admit, I've been late to the party on this one. You know, every time I'm on with Andrew, I, we go through so many products and I learn a little bit bit more each time. Um, if we you, don't talk about this all, that, we don't, that often. We don't, and I think that's how I missed it. And maybe you were the same and you didn't even know this existed. This is a chance to get it. By the way, the, the flowers on, on the front of that, yes. that's, that's very echinacea. Oh, okay. That's, that's even in, in Colorado, you see echinacea all over the place that's beautiful. Um, in the summer. It's a beautiful flower. Yeah. We're going to head over this one. As we do, Andrew, I wanted to ask you because this year in HSN, this month in HSN, we've been talking a lot about goals and uh, people's steps that they're taking to help realize their dreams. When you started back in 1979, and you said it was uh, in Santa Monica, right? Yeah. On day one, when you walked into the office, into the building, I, uh, and you were starting to make these vitamins, what was in your mind? What did you see as the future for this company? Well, in 1979, I was using someone else's facility to manufacture vitamins. Ah. I couldn't even afford to have my own facility, so I basically made a trade with someone. I was doing, I was doing seminars for doctors doctors on their behalf, they made supplements, and in return, I got to use their equipment to make my own vitamins. Oh my so the God. only thing I wanted to do was make vitamins for me. Uh, never in, in a million years did I dream I would be here. Never in a million now years. Now you were how old, if you don't mind me asking, when, when that <laughs> <laughs> When you I was, took that step? I was, I was in my 20s. I was in my 20s. But you were also training to be a, 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 a... I was at that time, I was running track and field. I was training for decathlon. Wow. The, 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 well, I was going to say the, the Bruce Jenner, but no longer Bruce Jenner Indeed. type thing, yes. That's good. That's the 10 events. I won't be following in his footsteps in that regard. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't win a gold medal, and I won't be following his footsteps. Very current regard. affairs. We yes. cover all topics so, here on yes. the Monday Night Show. Um, okay, we're going to quickly introduce what He's this a, is. By the way, an incredibly, Have incredibly you? nice guy. Uh, well, a you nice, can tell from nice, the interviews. Nice you really woman can. now, but yes. A, you know, a, a special yes. people, a person yep. who's really encouraged a lot of folks. Always very, very gracious to me when I was very young. Yep. And Great inspired yep. a lot of people. Yep. Uh, we're going to introduce this very next product, and then we're going to head yep. out to the phones. Andrew, you know I can, you know I can steal the limelight from you on this one because this product has helped me so tremendously. For anybody that's never tried Ultimate Friendly Flora, what is it? Ultimate Friendly Flora is our most potent source of probiotics. The friendly flora that, unbeknownst to most of us, outnumber us. And, and I, I say outnumber us because we have trillions of cells in our body. 
but the organisms, the friendly organisms, these are not bad bacteria. <coughs> these are friendly organisms that are responsible for our, the healthy functioning of our immune system, the healthy functioning of our digestive system, regularity, absorption of nutri nutrients and nutrition. They are a barrier to the unfriendly organisms getting in our body. That's why our, our friendly flora populate our mouth, our nose, our mm -hmm. digestive system. So, it, but what's fascinating is the, the number of cells in our body being trillions is, is, is a bit daunting of a number. I believe that a normal healthy person has something in the neighborhood of 100 trillion friendly flora organisms. Wow. So, so they literally outnumber us and that vast number underscores the incredible role and the important role they play in terms of our digestive health and our immune system health. Let's go to Texas and say a very good evening to oh, Linda. Linda, welcome to the Monday Night Show. Linda, you're live with Andrew. Hi there, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you, Linda? Uh, great. Uh, I was wondering, there's some companies that sell vitamins and they recommend you take them according to body weight. Do you consider that to be a factor or not? Uh, it depends upon what you're talking about. In, say, with a, a protein powder, yes, but when it when it comes to something like a multivitamin, not necessarily. Uh, with vitamin D, it could be a slight factor, but more depending on body fat, not necessarily body weight. Meaning that the, the same person, you know, people could take say 2,000 or 3,000 IU of vitamin D, but if one of those people had more body fat it's going to trap the vitamin D because it's a fat soluble vitamin. But say if, if someone weighs 120 pounds versus 200 pounds, 200 milligrams of CoQ10 is still the same. That most of what determines the efficacy of these nutrients are, are the systems and organs in our body. And, and those roughly have the same requirements from a man to a woman. I've always said the specialization of formulas was just sort of an excuse for companies to sell more of their different formulas. But when you're talking about foundational supplementation, these are not drugs or medicines. And certainly with drugs or medicine, then you have to start thinking about dosage and weight. But it's, but it's not the case with supplements. Perfect example is my circulation vein support. Even in the research, and certainly when you read the reviews, two capsules works well for everyone. You don't have to take more. It might be an excuse for certain companies to recommend that people take more of their products, but I haven't seen sufficient science to warrant that kind of recommendation. So the, the recommendation on the bottle is, is generally sufficient for everyone who's going to consider using it. That's great to know. Thanks a lot. Sure, sure. You're welcome, Linda. Thank you, Linda. Bye -bye. Thank you for taking the time. It's a, it's a great question because I think so many of us encounter that when we might be dealing with other products or pharmaceuticals or things like that. That we assume that uh, a one-a-day vitamin for one person, maybe right. if they, if uh, you know, say, say Muriel weighs significantly less than me, right. um, or someone, you know, I'm sure there are people out there, women out there who weigh almost half of, a little more than half of what I weigh, but they're still going to take roughly the same levels of CoQ10, vitamin D. So there, there's no reason to think that we should have it if we weigh half as much. Uh, we're going to head along. If you'd like to order the Ultimate Friendly Flora, again, very special pricing. We're going to go talk about a product that we covered a little bit over the weekend. But, Andrew, you really started talking about turmeric a while ago. And it seems, again, it is certainly hot, hot, hot. Turmeric has a lot of things to it that make it valuable to us. No, I'm... I'm always proud of the fact, and, and, I, and I love being reminded of the fact by, by so many of you have used our products that say you've been using my CoQ10 for 30 plus years. And CoQ10 was something that really only became fashionable about 10 or 15 years ago. Turmeric, 20, approximately 20 years we've had turmeric. It's only right now becoming extremely popular. Right. So, and what I th it, it underscores that the focus of what I do isn't to watch out in the marketplace what products are selling. The focus of what I do is watch what's most interesting and important in the scientific literature. And once we see it in the scientific literature, then it becomes more complicated because we have to figure out how we could replicate, how we could copy the scientific literature in a formula for you. Because then we have to validate it, make sure it's going to work. But turmeric is something that it's first the typical turmeric spice is about one percent to three percent curcuminoids so the beneficial compounds in turmeric spice are only at about one to three percent uh, in india they use lots of turmeric so they still get an abundance of curcuminoids the standardization of the curcuminoids in my product is 95 percent 
So basically, that's somewhere between 30 to 90 times more. Right. So much higher than typical turmeric spice, which in the future, I'm hoping to make a turmeric spice that you'd use at home oh, great. that has higher levels. That would be like 20 or 25%. So you get a bit of a benefit of a supplement when you're even using it as a spice. But what we also have to do, when you, took, when you cook with turmeric, you accomplish what we had to do in this formula. We had to complex the turmeric, the curcuminoids, with fat. Because when you complex them with fat, you overcome turmeric's inherent non-absorbability. <laughs> turmeric is a great spice, you taste it, it's wonderful, right. but going through your digestive system, it's inherently not well absorbed. So in terms of your body systemically, you'll taste it, tastes great, but you won't benefit systemically. It won't get distributed throughout your body because it won't be absorbed. But if you do what they do in India and Asia, when they cook with it, they complex it with fat. When they naturally use it to cook, it becomes absorbable. So that's basically, we took a page out of a, an Asian Indian cookbook <laughs> and we complexed it with fat, an important fat, phosphatidylcholine, the most important phospholipid for our liver and brain. So we complexed it with that and it increased its, increased its absorption by about 30 fold, 30 times more absorbable. There's such a strong interest in turmeric and if you've been intrigued to buy it, obviously knowing Andrew and knowing the other things you bought from Andrew, this would be a great place to go. And it's, and again, it's, it's a small, easy to swallow capsule. It's the beautiful natural color. Yeah. But what's, what's also great about turmeric is it will not, it, it might Look be a spice. At that. And you could see kind of like the ALC, the turmeric, it, it is kind of, you'll see on my hand, kind of sticky. Look. And that's because we complexed it with fat. But my fingers are now going to be bright orange because <laughs> turmeric is that it, it was not just a wonderful spice in Asia, but it was used for as a, as a, as a dye, as a colorant for clothing. If you think of the, the, um, the beautiful orange, say, um, Buddhist robes or Hindu robes, yeah. I guess, that they will be that, that wonderful, orange, wonderful orange color. Let's go to Connecticut and say good oh, evening cool. to as Andrew tries to get it off. <laughs> no, it's great. It's Joanne, healthy. welcome to the show, Joanne. You're live on the air with Andrew. Hi, Andrew, and how are you? I'm great, Joanne. How are you doing? Very well. Um, thank you. Um, I have a question about whether you feel there are certain vitamins that are better to take or more recommended to take in the morning versus nighttime. Um, more so like the vein and leg support, is it best to take that at night? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, circulation vein support can be taken any time of the day. Some folks okay. will split up one capsule in the morning and one capsule in the evening. Okay. Um, with most vitamins, what I say is it's the best to take them when you'll be, as they say with a medicine, when you're most compliant, when you're most likely to be consistent. For me, that tends to be morning and afternoon. Certain, certain vitamins are great to take in the evening just if you look at their activity. A lot of folks want to take circulation vein support at night because they feel uh, sometimes they have issues with their legs and restless legs and heavy legs and things like oh, yeah, that. No, I don't that have might that, interfere. Yeah, I just or, thought maybe it would work better. Or cramping. Right. Uh, it doesn't necessarily work better at night. Um, some folks take calcium magnesium at night because okay. it tends to be soothing and relaxing for the nervous system, also for the musculature, so it might reduce the likelihood of cramping and things like that. A lot of folks won't take B vitamins at night because some people find them to be a little bit neurostimulatory. I do not, and that's a real uh, small percentage of folks who have that issue with B vitamins. So the best advice I could give is always take your supplements with food, not because they might upset your stomach, because mine do not. No, they don't at all. <laughs> but because I take they're everything in the morning actually. Because they're better absorbed. Yeah. When you eat food, think of how our bodies were designed. Our bodies were designed to absorb these nutrients in the presence of food, right. so it's great to take them with food. So, um, so I guess what I, the, the real important thing, the most important thing, is, is take them in a fashion that works best for you, where you'll get to use them c most consistently, and that's when you get the best results. Great question. Okay, and, and if I could just ask one more quick sure, question. Sure, as many um, as you like. <laughs> I have a 11-year-old French bulldog. Right. Oh. Yeah, and uh, adorable dogs. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> and uh, I give him right now omega three, and not every day, but like every other day, right. I'll, I'll squeeze a tablet and I just you know let him look at, it and he he loves it. Right. And I'll I'll put the marine collagen peptides, which I love. Wow, yep. is my favorite in his uh, water bowl. So do I. I do the same and, for, for Lincoln and Marcel. Right. And because he is an older dog, my question is, do you plan on coming out with a line for animals? Or, you know, is there certain 
ones that I can give him now for sure, like can I give him glucosamine, can I give yes. him ultimate eye support? Yeah. I mean... I would imagine a French Bulldog, what does he probably weigh, 15 to 20 pounds? Um, no, he's a little bit more than that. Okay. He's on um, <laughs> actually diet dog food right now. Right. He's <laughs> a well-fed dog. Well, we don't want to talk about his weight. It might embarrass him. <laughs> he so. loves to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's also deaf. So, <laughs> so but I would, I would, uh, Lincoln gets a, a capsule. Lincoln weighs about 33 pounds, 34 pounds. <laughs> okay. He gets a capsule of glucosamine and chondroitin every day. I also, every other day, give him half a capsule in his food of the, the ultimate eye because the real s systems that dogs have challenges with as they get older mm -hmm. tends to be their, their joints and tends to be their eyes. Um, How do you give a half a cap? Oh, I just open up a capsule and I just, uh, you can oh, twist okay. and open the capsule and, and I dump okay. it into his food. I close it back up and I take the other half myself. <laughs> right. Well, you're probably, yeah, you're probably good at that. <laughs> <laughs> then I open them up, up here all the time. I practice. And, yeah. and yeah. also okay. I make the veggie paste. And, and I was going to say to Muriel when I got home, for us to do a video on the veggie paste. That would be great. That we make, for, that we put a tablespoon into their food each time, they eat twice a day, a tablespoon in their food because that veggie paste is a concentrated source of the nutrients that are most important systemically, but especially for their eyes. Um, so that's, that's, it's kale, spinach, a little bit of peas and a little bit of blueberries. Uh, and it's just something we do, you can do it in a blender, food processor, and I put a tablespoon in each of their food and I take a tablespoon for myself. So, <laughs> so just two times a day? You, you two soak. times a day, yes. And, oh, okay. and, and that's something that really is wonderful for their vision and eyesight. Our, you know, our dogs are our, our best, best, best friends. Yeah. And that's it's true. really, really up to us to, to do the best we can because they, they live an accelerated lifespan. And and we really have to pay attention to making sure they have the tools to, to take care of themselves. So the glucosamine yeah. and chondroitin, that's okay to give? Yes, to? yes. Oh, it's, okay. it's a typical supplement that's offered by uh, veterinarians uh, and, and things all over the place. Unfortunately, like humans, they typically use glucosamine hydrochloride. And a glucosamine hydrochloride isn't as well absorbed, isn't as well tolerated. It should be sulfate. It's just the hydrochloride's cheaper. But, you know, I, I, I love my little guy, and I want him to get the most effective source. So he gets glucosamine sulfate and chondroitin sulfate. And to answer your other question, I've always... <laughs> if I were smart, I would have made a line of pet supplements a decade ago. But I'm I'm busier than I am smart, so <laughs> so we'll we're, we're going to try to get it done as quickly as we can. And ideally, what we would do is make it so it comes with a little measuring spoon, so you could just take the powder and put it. in. it's going to be more economical that way. Take the powder and put it in your pet's food. Thank you, Joanne, so much. Wonderful questions. Thanks, Joanne. We're, we're going to head over this way. If you'd like to speak to Andrew, it is one eight six six three seven six eight two five five. Andrew, I do believe, though, because, I mean, if I had a, a, a dollar for every time I've heard, not only folks from uh, outside of HSN, but people that work here even ask you about pet supplements. No, it's, it's funny. As I've said, if I was a really intelligent business person, I would have made a line of pet supplements a decade or so ago. Right. But, but I'm, I'm more focused on the science and the research and, and creating a new line of pet supplements, especially doing it properly, follow, following all the regulations and yes. things, is, is, a, is a big process and a big step. Um, our, our current products will be the exact same raw materials as our pet supplements. Unlike others, I will not take shortcuts when it comes to our pets. And I would think or hope, and in fact, I know you would agree with me that if it's a glucosamine and chondroitin that's good enough for you, Let's, you might even want something better for your pets, <laughs> but there's nothing better. And the same with our eye supplement, the marine collagen, the omega-3. Those are the supplements that I've really focused on with, with Lincoln. Marcel's a little puppy, so he's just... How's he doing? He's, he's Marcel. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, Good answer. He's, he's the equivalent of his terrible twos. There they are. So that's Lincoln oh. on the left. That's Marcel. On the right, Marcel is, at that point, Marcel is probably just four months old. And they've bonded very much so. Oh, now. yeah. Lincoln, Lincoln thinks Marcel is his toy. <laughs> um, it's kind of if I, if I tell Lincoln to get his monkey or get his penguin, Lincoln knows the names of his toys. So he'll go to his, and I just ask him, uh, go get Marcel. He'll go get Marcel. Oh, so my he's, God. Uh, he just thinks Lincoln, Lincoln thinks Marcel is his. And Lincoln's a sheepdog, part sheepdog. So he truly herds Marcel all over the place. Well, there's yeah. lots of energy there, there's no doubt. And yes. maybe you wish you had all of that energy. Well, Andrew Lesman to the rescue with another one of the Hall of Famers, CoQ10. Yeah, uh, and with healthy hair, skin and nails, circulation, vein support, uh, among our most popular 
reorder products and and I think reorders is what defines the I think the quality and the yes. popularity of a product because it has nothing to do with me talking about it but everything to do with how it performed once you got it home and, and CoQ10 in recent as important as it was when I introduced it introduced it 35 years ago as important as it was then it, it still took about 20 years before it caught on anywhere else but now it's become even more important because the medications and drugs we take especially the cholesterol lowering statin drugs directly and, and dramatically diminish our levels of CoQ10 which directly and dramatically diminishes our capacity to produce energy and the capacity for our organs and systems to function their very best. So if you're taking cholesterol-lowering drugs, statin drugs, if you're taking even drugs for osteoporosis or osteopenia, or even drugs like antidepressants, and just by mentioning those um, classes of drugs, I think each of those classes of drugs, each one of them is probably larger than the entire supplement industry. I mean, it, it's, just, it's just uh, incredible the, the amount of people who are required to be using those medications. But we could all use those medications with an eye toward supporting the healthy systems in our body that those medications affect. And those medications affect the system in our body that manufactures what little CoQ10 we create internally. And as we get older, it's less and less. We take certain medications even less, and that's a, a scientific fact that, that statin drugs will lower the production of CoQ10 in your body. You know, one of the things that we did get to do over the weekend was to talk a lot about uh, reviews, and it's important that you know, because you can see it on our graphics, 3,200 five-star reviews. So I would ask anybody out there that maybe is even already a CoQ10. And, and uh, by the way, that's not out of like 10,000 reviews. I bet those 3,200 five-star reviews are out of barely 4,000, oh, not even 4,000 reviews, 3,800 oh, reviews. So what it means that over 80% of the reviews, well over 80% are five-star reviews. When you add in the, the four-star reviews, you're over 90%. So. so, I mean, you have to look at that and say, okay, that's an amazing number. We're going to head that's, over here because I think it's a crazy number. Frankly. Chocolate time. But, Andrew, there's a lot of folks that do take CoQ10 and, and have taken a brand that they've had for many, many years. It's kind of hard because I always find myself trying to convert them to the Andrew Lessman brand. Right. If you compare yours versus theirs, there's no comparison. And, and what's somewhat of a disadvantage, um, what's interesting is our CoQ10 now, because it's probably about 90% less expensive than it was right. 35 years ago. Right. It's almost because it's affordable, people will dismiss it, that it needs to cost more to be better. And also, of course, our CoQ10 comes with a full, equivalent of a full separate non-acidic vitamin C. It also comes with a full B complex, including our unique orally absorbable B12, meaning B12 you can take orally that actually does get into your bloodstream and work for you. Well, we're excited yes, about this next one. Oh, my. You talk about breakthroughs. It's something that Andrew loves to do. You're about to hear something that I don't think anybody ever thought would be possible. Andrew, you've created delicious no. gourmet chocolate that is actually healthier for in, you. In fact, even until we had accomplished this, I was still not sure it would work out. And, and the only reason it exists is because I've been doing what I do for so long that I remember to form a plant sterols, these FDA approved ingredients that lower cholesterol and lower cholesterol significantly. I remember to form, we don't have a little jar of it out here. I remember to form that it looks like fat. It's a plant sterile ester. It's actually very expensive. Oh, there it is. This is it. It's, it's actually expensive. It looks like fat, <laughs> but, it, but it is. It's, it's, it's shiny like fat. It's yeah. like, look at that. It's like so, slime. But that is, I had remembered that from a long time ago because our plant sterols are a fine powder. Plant sterile esters are about double the cost and they're about 60% about the potency. So it means they almost cost triple as much. But I thought that I could add those plant sterols to chocolate and maybe, just maybe, they would behave like the fat in milk fat when we make milk chocolate because milk chocolate is creamy. Uh, dark chocolate tends to be dry and brittle. Right. Milk chocolate is creamy. The milk fat makes it creamy. I thought maybe these plant sterile esters would perhaps behave a little bit like milk fat. Right. They didn't behave a little bit like milk fat. 
they behave better than milk fat, yet they don't deliver the calories of fat, they don't deliver fat. They're plant sterile esters. What do they do? They dramatically lower cholesterol. They lower your cholesterol, have one chocolate square with your two largest meals, say two squares a day, or have one square with each meal. They're only 26 calories and they'll lower your cholesterol 10, 15, 20% or more. If you make dietary changes, if you reduce saturated fat and cholesterol, add some fiber, you can get a significant reduction in cholesterol. And what I also wanted to point out, our chocolate is very unique. First of all, I sought the world over for a less bitter form of dark chocolate <laughs> that also delivered high levels of protective polyphenols, the protective compounds in chocolate. Our chocolate comes from South and Central America. All three, 66, 74, and 91, right. all come from South and Central America. And then, unlike typical chocolates that add significant amounts of sugar, our 66 has only 1.8 grams of sugar. Okay. That's basically a third of, about a third of a, a little less than a half a, tea, a teaspoon, what am I saying, half a teaspoon? A half a teaspoon is, I think, four grams. Yeah, so a little less than half a teaspoon. Um, our 74% is 1.4 grams, so it's about a third of a teaspoon, and our Choco Nuvo at 0.5 grams is, is a fraction of a teaspoon. Actually, we could label it a zero because it's less than half. Mm. But what I wanted to point out, that's 26 calories of each of our squares. If you look at 26 calories of grapes or peaches or plums or apples, pineapple, oranges, blueberries, kiwi, um, we think kiwi and blueberries, we think of them as being very low sugar fruits. Yeah, yeah. They all contain double for 26 calories and they don't have the protective compounds of chocolate because chocolate has higher levels of antioxidants than any of these fruit, by the way. They have higher levels of antioxidants than green tea or red wine. Wow but they, they all have higher levels of sugar. But, and if that's not impressive enough, if you compare our chocolate and its levels of sugar, if you have 26 calories of tomatoes or carrots or red peppers or green pepper, I think of green pepper or cucumbers as really low in sugar. Sure. I think of onions as, as low in sugar, cauliflower low in sugar. Yeah. All of them contain more sugar per 26 calories than our chocolate. You won't believe it. So, so what we've succeeded having here, we have a chocolate, that dark chocolate is the only chocolate to consume because it's the healthy one. Milk chocolate, unfortunately, doesn't have the high levels of protective compounds or protective polyphenols. Also has higher levels of sugar, also contains saturated fat and all the milk-related products. Ours is not milk, chocolate, it's organic and it's fair trade. And if you look at the most exotic chocolates in little squares, they cost more than mine. Yeah. And they don't contain our cholesterol lowering ingredient that makes our chocolate creamier, makes it less bitter, and it also makes it lower your cholesterol. So it's, there's nothing like this in the world, it actually. Is. It is truly one of my greatest Andrew Lessman discoveries, is Choco Nouveau. It's chocolate. It's a chocolate you'll have with your cup of tea, a chocolate you'll have with your coffee, a chocolate you'll have for a late night treat. It is fantastic. The only thing that you might be thinking is, well, which do I get? Let me tell you. If you only like milk chocolate and you're a lightweight like I am <laughs> with chocolate, you're gonna choose what is the 66% cacao, okay? So the 66%. If you wanna go a little bit darker, go for the 74. Which is, which is classic dark is, is say 70% or so. Our 70%, you could find hundreds of re reviews that milk chocolate lovers love our 70%. And if you wanna go extreme, extreme dark chocolate, go with our 91, but most dark chocolate is dry and brittle. And as, you know, I'll break this one oh, here. God. As you can see, it, it, it's shiny and it looks, even where I broke it, right. it doesn't look like typical dark chocolate, which would be kind of dry, brown and beige and be fragmented. It's, it's actually incredibly, incredibly Gorgeous. creamy. It's delicious. You gotta taste it though, because people will go to the gourmet store wow. in the mall and spend a few dollars for chocolate like this, let me tell you. Dark chocolate doesn't melt in your mouth like this. No, no. And it will melt in your hands if you hold it. We're there. just having a chocolate yeah. break. Don't mind us. Okay, I'm going to bring my chocolate with me. Yum. I'll take a lot of chocolate. Mm. I'm very hungry. Take um, it home with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they all keep you going. Can, no, you can pull a collie and she would... I'd be talking. <laughs> and she would open her purse. <laughs> dump them all in. And dump things in her purse. <laughs> I think they stopped letting her bring the purse on the set. I need a man bag or a man purse out here. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, um, one of the things that we do have to talk about 
because it certainly is a, 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 a hot to topic. Oh, have you reviewed? What a good idea. <laughs> what did you do? I have mint tea here. And I just had the mint tea after I had the dark chocolate. Oh, you see. Now, now I know why people recommend having the dark chocolate with mint, <laughs> which a number of years ago we, we did samples of that. We were thinking of doing a, a mint and an orange version of the 74. You've got to do that. Yeah, with just using a, a natural, of course, a natural mint extract and a natural orange extract, we don't do anything. Have you ever had in your travels uh, to France and England the, the chocolate orange, the Terry's chocolate orange? Have you ever had I have not. Those? Oh, I have not. You've got this. It's one of the most popular things. That's why they would do so well. Oh, okay. Anyway. Well, and I welcome, since you designed my products, I welcome your feedback on if there's a specific flavor. We often talked about having breaking up almonds or cashews or pecans mm. or walnuts, healthy nuts. So we'd have little pieces of healthy nuts in the chocolate as well because they're fibrous, they're great fatty acids, just they're associated with all sorts of health benefits. Well, talking of uh, fibrous, if we need to get more fiber in <laughs> our diet, we have the perfect solution. Andrew, Oops. is it a fair statement to say that we don't get enough fiber? Well, it's, it's, it's a sad statement, and it's a true statement. Mm. If you look at the levels of fiber we get in America, uh, or the things we consider good sources of fiber, um, it's, it's remarkable. It's remarkable anyone in America actually goes to the bathroom when you look at the <laughs> levels of fiber that most of us consume. We're consuming processed food, packaged foods. Yeah. We're not eating a lot of things that... Even salads. Salads are great, but they're not a rich source of fiber. Nuts, seeds... Legumes are a great source of fiber. Um, I'm not sure if I, if I wrote into this show, I think I did, our bean and veggie gas relief. We did. I think I did. Because that's something, a lot of us don't eat legumes like um, lentils, beans, uh, the chili, Mur Muriel's chili in the soup cookbook, or yep. her turkey chili is am amazing. But there's all sorts of great sources of fiber if we just shift away from the processed food and, and, and say substitute some of our animal, pro animal product for plant-based product. It's not like I'm all of a sudden going to become a vegan or a vegetarian overnight, but I generally try to eat as much fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts, seeds, legumes as I possibly, possibly can. And, and regularity is something that is, is a critical part of a healthy digestive system, and a lifetime of not being regular is not a good risk factor for our digestive system. Fibromucil is just incredibly potent, but incredibly mild fiber. You won't find a more gentle or a more effective source of fiber. It makes our Choco Nuvo, it helps it lower your cholesterol even more effectively. But most importantly, if you've struggled with regularity, you will not find a fiber product like this. Just add one or two capsules with each meal um, and just and make sure you just have adequate fluid, adequate water, and, and I encourage you to read the reviews. This is a fiber product that is almost perfectly reviewed. I think it's 4.5 stars or thereabouts, 4.6 stars. Fabulous. Out of 1,011 reviews, it's 820. That means it's about 82, 83% uh, five-star reviews. And uh, when you add the four star, it, it basically takes it almost to 90%. For a fiber product, I mean, let's keep that in perspective, that fiber products are not usually things that people are lavishing praise on, but this is truly a unique product in terms of both its effectiveness, but also in terms of mildness, because most fiber products that might be effective are usually nasty to use, miserable to take, and uncomfortable. With that in mind, we're going to head over this way. Fiber Musil is available. Don't forget, all of these are special pricing think, right now. I think in two hours, we're going to go through something like, uh, <laughs> I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of, what, 25 products, 24 products? There's a lot to cover. I think, I mean, we're not even through the first hour yet. I feel like we've done like 20 different items. Um, this we haven't talked about. And I, I was just reminded of this because someone had asked me about it at the gym. Ginger. And because a lot of folks, a lot of folks take ginger to settle their stomach. A lot of folks take ginger because sort of it's mother nature's kind of nausea ingredient. Yes. A lot of folks take ginger this time of year for immune support. Muriel will at home, she'll chop up um, fresh ginger root. She'll take ginger root like this. She'll chop it up and she'll put some cayenne pepper in as well, and some lemon, a fresh lemon, squeeze fresh lemon, and that's our sort of immune supportive tea at the house. So, and this is standard extract of ginger, so we specifically look to the compounds in ginger that give ginger its unique benefits. If you're somebody that has been wanting to see ginger, I've never had the chance to present this with Andrew, so this is an exciting uh, opportunity. If ginger is on your list, um, this is the time to do it. Andrew, uh, different ginger products out there, 
why would I choose an Andrew Lessman ginger? Well, it's, it's as easy as looking at this chart. Um, if you just look at this chart, that a typical ginger product is just going to say, you know, dried ginger root, or, and, and it's not going to necessarily say an extract, and it's not necessarily going to declare a standardization as this does here, which is 5% gingerols and 1.5% volatile oil. The gingerols are the beneficial compound that we seek in ginger extract. And typical ginger root, if you just took ginger root and dried it, right. it's not going to be at 5%. So it has to be further extracted and concentrated to deliver the higher levels of gingerols as we have here. So there is a huge difference in terms of the benefits that you'll receive. There's a huge difference in, in most supplements on the market because a lot of supplements really don't focus on standardizing their extracts. So, and that's something that we'll cover a lot of over the course of um, our shows with Andrew because there are many, many differences. Andrew, you don't do anything by halves and when it comes to even the manufacture and the production of your vitamins, ginger or fibromucil, anything, it's all solar powered. All solar powered, all additive free. So, meaning when I open up this capsule here, the only thing in this capsule is ginger, nothing else. So, so everything is made using solar power. The the factory is in Nevada, in the high desert of Nevada, where humidity is low. I should probably say Nevada, where the humidity is low. So we don't have to use flowing agents and excipients and lubricants. It's it's much harder to make products the way we do. But our, our product line is the only product line in the world where all your, when you order a product, all you're getting are the ingredients you want. And this may be a silly question, Andrew, so forgive me in advance. You don't use these artificial preservatives in your product, so how do they stay okay? You don't need, no, it's, we don't use any additives in the product. Most supplements don't contain artificial preservatives. Most of them do not. Most supplements just contain manufacturing additives that make it easier for them to make, or it makes it easy for them to make, say, a tablet. Right. There's going to be binders and fillers that make that tablet stick together. Right. In some cases, that tablet can be 98 to 99% additives and only one or 2% or less active ingredients. And then of course, when you put all those binders and fillers to stick the tablet together, right. you have to put lubricants and flowing agents in to make them flow or they won't flow. So you have to put ingredients to compensate for those. And then when you make it stick together so well, you have to put other ingredients in that will make it fall apart after you swallow it. So it's just one compensating ingredient after another, after another, after another, and you lose sight of the only reason you got the ingredient in the first right. place. So for us, all we focus on, most supplements, as I said, don't contain artificial preservatives, but they do contain a whole range of artificial and natural additives that are just about manufacturing and have nothing to do with your best interests. You don't need to, you know, if you take, say, a few, three or four capsules or tablets a day, say that's three or four grams of material, and if the typical product is a third or half additives, that means you're consuming a pound or two of additives every year. Wow. With my products, Zero, zero. And that's the best number yeah. that you want. Let's go over this way. Andrew, is, is it possible that with different vitamins, different supplements that I purchase, does one cancel out another? Can one negate the effects or positive effects of different ones? That doesn't work that way with supplements because supplements aren't medicines or drugs. Um, so you're not going to have a contraindication of taking one supplement in, in interacting with another. Okay, good. Um, there are certain suppl supplements, certainly botanicals and things like that, that you have to be aware of in the context of, of certain medications you might be taking, but those kinds of interactions are very, very rare. Just as you have to be aware with certain medications and foods you're eating, like, like grapefruit is one of those things you have to be conscious if you're taking certain kinds of medications right. and, and consuming grapefruit. It could affect the way that medication functions functions in your body. So because if you're taking supplements that are really intended as mine are, as their food supplements. Mm. They're designed to supplement your diet and providing these dietary ingredients. You know, berberine that we're talking about here is fascinating because it is also a root and it's a root that's related to turmeric root, but it's a root that just has been observed for a long period of time to have beneficial effects in the way our body manages and metabolizes glucose and the way our body manages and metabolizes our blood lipids like our cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. So it's just, for us, it's just a matter of paying attention to these natural ingredients 
that play a natural and supportive role in our body that might promote a healthier state when it comes to certain uh, factors in our body, whether it's our blood sugar metabolism or insulin metabolism or our lipid metabolism. I find that with so many of the wonderful supplements, you kind of look towards um, history books, you look towards the Asian diet, you look towards herbal remedies from years and years ago. Right. How important is that in the creation of these? Well, it's that's always been important for me. That's always been important validation but it was always insufficient for me to make a product. Huh. Just because something had been used in traditional med medicine didn't mean that it warranted my making a product out of it. Mm. So until uh, more conventional science analyzed the ingredient, identified the active components, and how they work in the body, it wasn't something I was necessarily going to make a product about because I would have to be able to stand up here and say why that product is beneficial. Right. And I'd have to know that there was science that I could read you quotes from the science as I could with Burberry. Uh, so, so that's ours really what we like to do is we have both parts of that equation. With so many of the botanical ingredients, the natural ingredients, they've been used for, for ages. The Mediterranean diet, we could talk about lycopene in a multivitamin, it's a carotenoid. Right. The Mediterranean di diet has known about the importance of tomatoes for centuries and centuries. Turmeric, berberine, ginger, the Asian diet right. for probably 2,000 years. So these are all ingredients that in the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years have been the subject of, of very serious research. And, and fortunately for me, uh, I started my company, say, 39 years ago, not 100 years ago, because I have access to both all of the traditional literature and now all the current scientific literature. And what's really exciting is even though there's no real economic interest for the pharmaceutical companies to be exploring these things like berberine because they right. can't patent it and make a lot of money off it, um, there's nevertheless uh, a wide body of science and research and folks who are committed to finding out and understanding these natural tools. If you'd like to order berberine, it is available, the new berberine. Um, we are gonna mention quickly cinnamon because- and, and berberine is something that you take one or two capsules with each meal. Okay. So berberine is something you take one or two capsules with each meal. And if you look at the science and the literature on how effectively it supports our uh, healthy blood sugar levels, healthy blood sugar metabolism, our A1C levels, mm -hmm. it's something you'd be very excited about. And similarly, usually we do it the other way. We talk about cinnamon first and then berberine, but I thought I'd give berberine a little bit of <laughs> tough feeling for a moment. So, and then <laughs> cinnamon is something that, it was the first ingredient with significant research supporting its its benefits in terms of our blood sugar metabolism and our insulin metabolism. One simple, that's one, one or two capsules a day. I take one capsule every day. Um, my you know, blood sugar metabolism, insulin metabolism, I'm active. I, I try to stay at my ideal weight. So those numbers are, are always in the healthy normal range. And I've just noticed since I've been do, using cinnamon, um, a bit better, and the same with berberine. And obviously this is not the same cinnamon that I'll find in the food pantry, correct? No, it's from the same source in terms it comes from the bark of the same plant. But again, the standardization when it comes to cinnamon, it's the type A polymers. So you have to take that cinnamon, that would be a normal spice, but then you have to extract it further and you have to extract it down to the beneficial components. So our cinnamon still tastes like cinnamon. Uh, I'll sprinkle it on my oat bran, yeah. I'll, I'll put it in a smoothie. Muriel puts it in her little espresso or little cappuccino in the morning, um, which she can't talk to me until she has that. <laughs> and, and if I talk to her before she has that, she looks at me like, why are you talking to me? <laughs> so, but she'll open a capsule and put cinnamon on top of that. And she, if she's watching now and on the West Coast, she's not gonna be very happy with me when I get back. <laughs> the truth comes out. Yeah. Well, talking of uh, <laughs> things that maybe you'll be doing at home as well, is something that I know Andrew does, I now do, and that is tea. Andrew, you know I can speak very uh, effectively on good teas, obviously coming from England. You, what a pleasant surprise it was for me to discover your line of teas. There, well, thank you. And they're like nothing in the world. And, oh. and the reason why I, I brought these two in particular, uh, most Americans hate green tea. Right. But we all know the incredible benefits to be derived from green tea. So I created a mint green tea. Uh, if you order mint tea in France, um, if you order, you'll, you'll say in France, it's thé vert. Thé vert is green tea. Yep. They're going to, if you, uh, if you order thé vert, or if you order, say, mint tea, thé la menthe, um, that's mint tea. You're going to get green mint tea. 
because if you order tea, it's coming with green tea. Right. If you want just mint on its own, you have to order une infusion, an in infusion, uh, à la menthe, an infusion menthe. So you have to order it differently because they respect the difference between mint tea, mint on its own, an infusion of mint, and green mint tea. And our green mint tea is virtually perfectly reviewed. Our chamomile mint tea, one is for the morning, one is for the night. Our chamomile mint tea, I think all of the reviews but one was five star, and I think it was almost the same for the, the green mint tea. So for me, it was just exciting to be able to offer teas that people typically don't like and show that if you do them right and they're organic and one tea bag will make a quart of tea. So one tea bag, it's incredibly affordable to think it doesn't make just a six or eight ounce cup, but it makes 32 ounces or more. And the other thing is either of these teas, typical teas, you steep them for two or three minutes, they get bitter. Yep. You could steep these teas for two or three weeks, <laughs> just keep in the refrigerator, they will not get bitter. So it's exciting for me, and, and tea is such a simple habit. There's no calories. It's one of those lifestyle habits in Asia that's associated with long wow. life and healthy life. If we could adopt it culturally, we would be so benefited by doing so. I, I would say this to you because it, it, for those of us that have tried a green tea and it's like, I don't want to do that, with the peppermint, you have no idea, the chamomile, at least buy a box of Andrew's tea and make a cup. If you don't love it, send it all back, but please try it. You have to try it, because I think if you do, you'll be hooked. And it's literally 50 cents a quart. Right. And, and you could actually make more than a quart. Um, recently, I, I put a, a tea bag in and I used it over and over in the little uh, teapot because I was traveling in the refrigerator. And, uh, and I probably got a half a gallon it, and it was still strong and never bitter. It's such a wonderful surprise, you'll love it. I, I want to go to the phones to Minnesota and say good evening to Edith. Edith, welcome to the Monday Night Show. You're live with Andrew Lessman. Hello. Hi, Edith. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Welcome. Um, my question, and um, I just want to say up front that I take nearly everything that you make. Thank you. Thanks. Most important is the glucosamine because I have back and neck issues. Right. And the nighttime because I have trouble sleeping. Right. But I recently started a, um, well, actually in September, I started a weight loss program right. and they push a lot of their own supplements. They don't, it's not like a pre-made food type thing, but, right. but they do have, they have a, you know, a supplement for everything and they keep pushing me and I keep saying, you know, no, I already take enough. Right. Um, but I, I, I take the energy and fat metabolism. Right. And I ordered, I saw that the new L-carnitine, the acetyl... Acetyl L-carnitine, which by the way, you get acetyl L-carnitine in energy and fat metabolism factors. Oh, you do? Yes. Because yes. I use this, I, before I started this program, I used the Secure. Right. I would use it every morning, uh, but obviously I was eating too much after that. But. Right. <laughs> right. So I've lost 35 pounds. Oh, I've got great. 12 pounds to go, and I... You know, they keep trying to push these supplements on me, and I want to know what I can take so I can finish my last 12 pounds successfully. Well, I think I make supplements, but the key to those last 12 pounds aren't going to be any supplement. Right. As I even say, in terms of the secure, it's just finding tools that, as you said, helps you manage what you eat throughout the day. So to the extent this program is, is helping you manage the food you eat throughout the day, then, then I think just as you've lost the, the first 35, you're going to continue to lose the last 12. The energy and fat, the acetyl L-carnitine, that's just the metabolic support, but the real key 99% of that process is going to be what you're doing in terms of what you're eating. And, and I'm not sure if you're also trying to exercise as part of this. I don't, I don't get much exercise. I'm in Minnesota, and yes. we just had like 10 inches of snow today, yes. and I'm really, um, I can't, I it's, don't uh, understood. walk in the snow because, and I know there's weight loss clinics and you know right I mean. it's it's but again uh regardless of exercise still eight, i always say 80 to 90 percent of weight loss is what we put in our mouth yes so, and i've heard you say that many times and that's why i finally decided that i had to do this great. and not buy the prepackaged food right 
which I've tried and never worked for me. Right. But I just would like a little, and I know I have to keep eating. I mean, this is yeah. going to well, be a life-changing program even, for me. The food part of the program has worked really well for me. Right. But I just need a little extra boost. It's finding, yeah, if we find a structure with food, that's the key. Yeah, Even things like drinking green tea is a, is a great habit. I think it's one of the, the best habits in, in the Asian culture that keeps them far more lean as a society than we are. But but there's not going to be, I think, energy and fat, the acetylcarnitine, they, they support you, but there, there's not going to be, there's no magic supplement ingredient at all that's going to help you with those last 12 pounds. But you already have a perfect track record. You've lost 35 it should be very simple if you keep doing exactly what you're doing it might be a little patience but you should accomplish the last 12. So I I don't have to listen to them when they tell me that I need their supplements to continue my weight loss. Well, I doubt if they make their own supplements. I suspect they're made by some contract manufacturer for them. So far be it for me, I haven't seen their supplements to comment upon them. But uh, but you seem to be doing pretty well, and I suspect they're pretty pleased with your progress, the fact that you've lost 35 pounds following their, their food directives and using the supplements you're currently using. Congratulations, Edith. It's a wonderful question, and honestly, I think something that a lot of folks would want to talk about. Um, uh, if you'd like to try the tea, you can see I was uh, happy just pouring away there. Really recommend it. You will love it, and it's so refreshing. Andrew, I did pour you a cup of the chamomile if you'd like oh, some. Oh, thank you very much. Um, cool. If you had to choose between the two, which would you choose? <laughs> I know that's really a hard question. They're no, all like your children. No, I because I start my day with the the green tea. I start my day with green tea until about twelve or two o'clock. Right. I do um, typically the the jasmine green tea and the mint green tea. That's all I drink until the afternoon, and then afterwards I do mint chamomile for the rest of the day. And just before I go to sleep, I have straight chamomile. But my day is pretty much defined. I really don't drink water on its own anymore. I drink tea, and, and tea has no calories. And of course, it's 99.9999% water, so I'm basically just drinking water. You, are, trust me, you're gonna yep. love it. I can't recommend it enough. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put the tea down for a second. Uh, we are already well into our second and final hour. Mm. Um, it tastes like honey. The, the chamomile, there's no chamomile tea in the world like my chamomile tea, unless you go to Egypt and you get the finest organic chamomile blossom tea from Egypt, and that's exactly where we go to get it. And I don't have the time to go to Egypt tonight, so I'll just use one of Thank you. That's tea. <laughs> Good. We're going to move on to energy and fat metabolism. And that's what Edith was just talking about. Yeah, and it's a product that it contains uh, not as much acetyl L-carnitine as the acetyl the pure acetyl L-carnitine on its own, but it's a product that I created a long time ago in response to all those crazy weight loss products, especially at the time. Right. Again, I've been in this industry too long that contained ephedra and ephedrine and harmful ingredients. So I was asked to make a product that was not going to be harmful, that could provide immediate energy, and that was my urgent energy formula I had that provides immediate energy, but you weren't gonna like fall off a cliff, that right. it was going to also provide mid and long-term energy, and use botanicals to do that, and also made sure that it supported fat burning metabolism by having carnitine in it, and also by having B vitamins in it. So what it was was basically a request for a healthier alternative because I think folks out there were aware that the products that were being foisted on them, sold by so many different companies, really ultimately weren't in their best interest. As much as taking ephedra could help dramatically with weight loss, mm -hmm. it was dangerous. And there were people who, you know, I said this among my friends, that there are gonna be people who die using this because people will abuse it, not use it appropriately, and that's exactly what happened. So it's, these it's are ingredients terrible. that are, it's designed to be a simple, straightforward, gentle product. It has the caffeine-related alkaloids, not caffeine from coffee, but caffeine-related alkaloids from, again, green tea and from guarana. And there's an abundance of research. I didn't even mention this when we're talking about green tea because I don't tend to emphasize this, but there's probably 
40 or 50 studies, maybe more, that talk about green tea's role in fat metabolism and weight loss. I should have really emphasized That's that, Edith, point. if you're still watching, that if you're drinking, if you stay hydrated throughout the day and drinking a fluid, just make it green tea. Yeah. Because there is great research on the polyphenols in green tea, not the caffeine, the polyphenols in green tea, because they, they see the same benefit even with decaffeinated green tea. So it, it's something, and that's why we put this formula the way, together the way we did, where we have standardized green tea and standardized guarana, in addition to, to ginseng, in addition to B-complex and vitamin C, in addition to carnitine. If you are um, on a weight loss kick for the new year, if losing weight is important to you at this moment in time, this is a product that really should be on your list. And again, it's so vital to know that I feel with Andrew Lessman's product, there is more of a community spirit. So when you read the reviews, and hopefully you'll be able to leave a review as well, I mean, this one has nearly a thousand five-star reviews. It works. What else can you say but that? Well, and again, it's a product that I say with all my products, first, do, do no harm, you know, cause no problems. So this is a product that's designed that it's not going to cause any jittery discomfort. Right. And you'll read, you'll read hundreds of reviews from folks who are very wary of taking it because they're afraid of a product that might have this kind of benefit, that it will be uncomfortable. Um, but this is a product that's designed to be first and foremost, a, a just a gentle support. So it gets you, say, gets you going. It supports your met, supports energy metabolism, which is basically fat metabolism. Because in our body, fat is the most energy intensive metabolism we could engage. Meaning that we deliver more energy from burning a gram of fat than from burning a gram of carbohydrate mm. or sugar or protein. And, and of course, the fat stored in our body is principally stored for that reason. It's a savings account. It's, right. It was thousands of years ago, it was our survival account. So to the extent we can provide the metabolic tools and the metabolic reason to, to go after that fat, to extract the energy from that fat, that's going to be the fat burning and weight loss that we seek. If you'd like to order this one again, various sizing. We know a lot of folks just want to try it. You could, of course, try it with that smaller size. Uh, we'll send it straight to you. We'll head over this way. Yeah, and this, by the way, is our monthly special. So yes. it's, it's crazy. It's almost uh, half off. It's today's special pricing. And obviously, I mean, what are we, January the 22nd today, is it? 23rd? Yes. Um, what is I today's date? Remember. I don't know. 20, not the 21st. I know that. 22nd. I only have, made me look at my steps. <laughs> I only have 13,000 steps. Only th how many do you normally do? Oh, I normally, I thought we talked about this the other day. I normally do 15,000, try to do 15 a day. That's very I've good. done as many as 40 in a day, but... Um, You've still got a few hours left. Yes, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll walk around. Running around the hotel I, I, room. I do that, yes. <laughs> I've been known to make phone calls and just walk around in circles. That's what I do. Whatever it takes. Yes. Um, talking of whatever it takes, <laughs> digest the show. For anybody out there that's looking for a comprehensive blend to really help and ease digestion, this is a great, great product. We'll also take a phone call in this presentation <laughs> oh, cool. as well. Um, so digest the show. Tell me about this one. Well, digestion in our body is entirely done by enzymes. Of course, we need the right environment in our stomach. It's a very low pH environment that activates those enzymes. But you can't, you, you, you have to have proteases to digest protein, lipases to digest fat, but you can't digest the foods we eat. We eat these incredibly diverse and complex foods, and we extract what we need from them on a molecular level. But how do we access those molecules? We access those molecules because we've digested it. The enzymes in our digestive system broke down all the crazy random things we eat into their single molecules that we could absorb and utilize. It's a, it's a crazy process to think. We're not thinking about it, and it's going on inside our body all the time. And, and just to show, here's a capsule and it's, this is like, oops, I broke the capsule. Um, but it's very like- Very strong. Ultrafine powder. And what's important to know about that, so many of the enzyme products on the market are tablets. It's bizarre to me that you deliver a tablet because you have to digest a tablet. You don't have to digest that. That's ultrafine powder, 100% pure enzymes that are immediately distributed with your stomach's contents to do the work. Sorry, one quick question, because I know we've got to get to the phone call. Just one quick question. Andrew, yes. just so I'm clear, so anybody out there, any one of us who is currently taking any type of supplement that is in the form of a hard tablet, that you're saying that that is simply not as good as it could be, correct? 
Well, it's, it's quite simple. The ingredients that are typically in those tablets, all of them that I know of, they start as powders. And when you want to use them in your body, you have to break them out of that tablet into a powder and put them back in solution. Right. So that tablet is just an obstacle to your accessing the material in its original form. So it's just a convenient economic way for companies to make products. But if you're really focused on the interest, especially with a digestive product, it needs to go to work immediately because you only have a limited amount of time to make a difference in the comfort of how your digestive system is working. So the, our product is 100% digestive enzymes. That capsule is immediately available, the powder immediately available to go to work. A tablet quite different. You could talk to any radiologist. I remember this in school. You could talk to any radiologist who will tell you that they often, when they're young, what they're fooled by watching calcium tablets or some kind of vitamin tablet going through someone's system, right. um, not digested. You'll see a, a white mass because it's, you know, it's opaque in terms of uh, radiologically. How I, I just so there's a red flag there. If anybody take your supplement that is rock hard, no, we can do better take, than that. It should liquids should be in a soft gel capsule, powder should be in a two piece capsule, or in a loose powder. So it's it's accessible to you. Let's go to Annette, who's joining us live from Massachusetts. Annette, welcome to the Monday Night Show. Annette, you're on live with Andrew. Hi, good evening from Massachusetts. Hi, Hi, Andrew. Hi, Adam. How are you tonight? Hi, Annette. Good. How are you? We're great. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Um, thank you for taking my call. Sure. Um, my uh, concern is cholesterol. Okay, I, um, I, my cholesterol's been creeping up. I used to be seven years old. Um, and we're at 244. We're at right. 60 of the, um, what is it, the HDL and 63 of the LDL. That's the bad one, right? Right. Okay. So um, I bought your um, cholesterol care. Right. And I bought the oatmeal. Right. Uh, the five of you. So uh, I'm, I'm petrified of having to take a stat. Right. And so I was just wondering what you would recommend that I take, um, how much of, of all of the above, and eggs okay to eat. Yeah, I, uh, I would stay away from eggs, egg yolks, because they're the most concentrated source of cholesterol in the diet, other than eating liver or brains. Um, mm -hmm. So I would stay away from egg yolks. There is, you know, of course the egg manufacturers don't want to hear anyone say that. And mm -hmm. all the other, the food manufacturers would like to tell you that your diet has no impact at all on cholesterol. And I could say personally it has an enormous impact on my levels of cholesterol. And that's why vegans and vegetarians have dramatically lower levels of cholesterol because they don't consume cholesterol. So I would avoid eggs. I would try to avoid the red meat, eat fish, you know, less amounts of chicken. But as far as using cholesticare, I would have one capsule with each meal, but if you're having oatmeal or oat bran in the morning, which that's a great way to start every day with a, a bowl of oat bran or oatmeal, you don't have to take a capsule of cholesticare then. But have the oatmeal or oat bran each morning. Do mm -hmm. that, if you do that just for two or three weeks and have a capsule of cholesticare with each meal, omega-3s mm -hmm. are also great and CoQ10 are also great to support healthy cholesterol levels. I would say that your 244 number is probably going to be dipping down around 200 or maybe better, and your LDL will also be going down proportionately. So, uh, so just give it a try. And, and again, the statin drugs, if you have to take them, I don't think you'll need to. The fibromucil, mm -hmm. if you take it at the same time, if you have a capsule of fibromucil with your oatmeal or oat bran, have two capsules when you take cholesticare. Um, it will only give you better benefits. But the statin drugs, you can take low doses, take them every other day, and get a great result if you had to. But the, mm -hmm. the natural route is the good first step. Just work with your doctor. And, and I think you'll be surprised. I think you can get your total under 200. And your HDL levels are over six, 60, I believe you had said, correct? 60 something? My HDL is 60. They want me to get it over 65. Yeah, the only way you raise your HDL is going to be by doing uh, cardiovascular aerobic activity. Um, it mm -hmm. won't go up. Uh, 60 is not bad. But then if you lower your total and you lower your LDL, your 60 mm -hmm. level is, is more than adequate. That becomes a great level. So if your total is 190, um, I would say your, your triglycerides are probably somewhere in the neighborhood 
neighborhood of 80 or 90 because they're going to be um, your your VLDL is 20% is of your triglycerides and that contributes to your total number. So so I think if you just the oatmeal and oat bran in the morning, uh, a mm -hmm. capsule of Cholesticare with each meal, each time you eat, um, okay. two capsules of Fibromucil when you do that, Omega 3s, CoQ10, a good addition. Um, but I think you're going to surprise yourself, and I think you'll find yourself under 200. And do I reach. I want to surprise my doctor. Don't you want to watch? Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> surprise both. But and do reach out to my offices. Call my company. Okay. Let them know you spoke to me on the phone. Get to my assistant, and, and let's see how you do. And I'd be glad to see if we could help you in any way. Can I ask you one quick more question? Sure, sure. Salmon. If you eat salmon, does it have to be wild salmon in order for it to be beneficial? <laughs> Good question. That's a, a great, great, great question. The answer is it doesn't have to be wild salmon. And nowadays I even wonder half the time if when I'm told it's wild salmon, it's really wild salmon. Plus there are mm -hmm. some folks who farm salmon and do it unbelievably responsibly and don't use, they, they do it by sort of an organic standard so there's no antibiotics or, or any other um, things being given to the salmon. Just Salmon is just a, a great, healthy thing to eat. We mm -hmm. should try to do the best we can to get quality farm-raised or uh, the best quality wild salmon. Also, wild salmon sometimes gets outrageously expensive. Oh, but, tell me about it. Mm -hmm. But fish is just, uh, we have to watch mercury levels when we're eating things like tuna. I, I wouldn't eat shark anymore or swordfish anymore, things like that. Um, but fish is just a great substitute for, for red meat because red meat also happens to be the least environmentally friendly meat we could at least environmentally friendly source of protein we could consume so if we to the extent we try to eat in a fashion that's friendlier to the environment we'll eat more fruits more vegetables nuts seeds things like that and more chicken more poultry and uh, more fish Annette, thank you so much. Great, great questions. Thanks. Really great questions, Annette. Thank I mean, you. I, I, truly. And, you know, if you have something that you want to ask Andrew, one 376 8255 Andrew, we have just a moment to mention being in vegetable gas relief. It's, a, it's an important as, one that a lot of people want to see. As long I as, rephrase that. as I sound like a broken record talking about eating beans and nuts, seeds, legumes, cruciferous vegetables. Mm. These are the foods that contain those molecules that create gas, mm. that are gassy foods. This is a great reviewed product. It is um, this is a product I always love to tell the story when I was, um, I was gonna be coaching my goddaughter's soccer team for the day and, uh, and beforehand I figured I'd have, there's a restaurant near us that has enormous bowls, like a quart of soup. I had a quart of black bean soup, a right. quart of chili, and a quart of pea soup. And then I took a few capsules of bean and veggie gas relief and I could attest to the fact <laughs> that it works. My goddaughter was already warning all her friends not to come near me on the field. No one was, no one was guarding me. I had my, all the way to the goal, no problem. <laughs> so, but seriously, it's, what it delivers is the, the enzymes that are responsible for breaking the bond, bonds, breaking down the foods that are the otherwise gas-offending molecules, the fructooligosaccharides present, which also happen to be, these are foods that are also wonderful for feeding, feeding our friendly flora. So when we want to maintain a healthy probiotic environment in our digestive system, we're eating foods like legumes and cruciferous vegetables. So when we avoid them because of gas, we're avoiding an opportunity to do something incredibly important for our immune system, our digestive system, even our brain, because of the, the gut-brain axis, the way that our, our friendly flora actually promotes a healthy relationship even with our brain. Gas relief is available right now. Gas relief, call. yes. <laughs> oh, go online. It's to avoid a gas crisis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, Folks, we, we have a couple things that we want to talk about. Our <laughs> calcium magnesium. We're covering a lot of ground. Here. We really are. Um, this is, the, oh, there's a lot to talk and about I, here. And I just want to talk about this quickly. If, if calcium products have been unpleasant for you, hard to digest, hard to swallow, and bottom line, when you ask me about a tablet, Tablets are just nasty because they're hard to swallow. Right. Then they're even nastier because think about a tablet. It's a dense mass. When you talk about a calcium tablet, it's a, tab it's a metal tablet. Calcium and magnesium are metals. They're metals. Right. So it's basically a metal tablet that's relatively insoluble. You don't want that as a tablet. That's a rock. That's a metal mass. It's the last thing you want to put in your stomach, and it's why tablets can be so upsetting for most people's stomachs. That's why everything we make is a fine powder in a capsule, so you never have issues with stomach upset or the product repeating on you. But more important than the calcium today, and again, this is you won't find a calcium product like it, 
the most important discussion to have when, any, when anyone would ever talk about calcium nowadays, and even when anyone would talk about the importance of vitamin D nowadays, mm -hmm. is vitamin K2 MK7. Right. That's the most important discussion. Why? And, and vitamin K2 MK7, it ensures that the essential calcium we need only plays its essential role and doesn't play a negative role. And, and vitamin K2 MK7, there was just recent research published that was exciting that talked about arterial flexibility, that it was revealed that people had more flexible arteries, which is something that, that is so critically important to retain as we age because as much as we worry about the resiliency of our skin and the resiliency of our joints, if we can maintain the resiliency of our arteries right. and our veins, um, that's even more important for longevity and health. So vitamin K2, MK7, uh, the research, what it, what it basically is, the, the easiest non-scientific description for vitamin K2, MK7. It's sort of like the police officer of calcium within our body. So we know if we absorb calcium, we need calcium in all our cells. We need high, uh, high quantities of calcium to maintain healthy bone tissue. But the, the ubiquitousness, the, the constant availability of calcium within our body, if there's sites in our body that would be receptive to it, calcium could be deposited there, causing calcification. What stops that process and shifts calcium so it only goes where it's supposed to go and doesn't go where it's not supposed to go is vitamin K2 MK7. That's why I refer to it sort of as the police officer, the traffic cop of, uh, of calcium or for calcium within our body. It's one of those ingredients that I said this 30 plus years ago about coenzyme Q10 that one day, because no one cared back then, but one day I said this will be considered one of the single most, I've said about vitamin D, yeah. one of the single most important nutrients that anyone would ever contemplate supplementing. Um, I said that about vitamin D 39 years ago. It probably took 35 years for that to take place, for that respect to have been acquired. CoQ10, it probably only took about 15 or 20 years. We're in the infancy with vitamin K2 MK7. I've had it as a product for about a decade. Right. It, it still is something that you could go in supermarkets, not even find it. Discount stores not even find really? it. It's the, the market is only first being created. But it's for me, it's not about the market, it's about the science. And the science 10 years ago was strong enough to, and not just compelling, to warrant creating it. And I've noticed that behind the scenes with Andrew, when we've been looking at doing the uh, calcium product, Andrew will put a lot of weight on vitamin K, uh, MK7, because clearly, as you can hear him say, there is a lot to be said here. So I can see that energy and passion coming through you oh, no, that it's, this is vital. It's so important because we all, we all have to maintain our skeleton. We're living longer and longer. We don't want to be afraid of calcium and vitamin D because vitamin D plays a critically important role. Right. You don't want to go through life with anything other than a healthy vitamin D level your whole life. So we want to make sure we have the calcium that we need but we don't want that calcium going to where it doesn't belong. And what has been recognized and demonstrated in study after study after study is vitamin K2, MK7, plays that wonderful role to ensure that we get all the wonderful benefits of calcium without any of the potential downside of calcium. If you're looking to order this, remember special pricing. Everything that we've done tonight is all on special pricing. So this is a good time to be able to do it. I, I'm a big believer that when you see something and you're attracted to something or something really strikes a chord with you, to strike. Because when Andrew and I have gone, that incentive might not be there. And Andrew, these are all but beneficial things for us in the new Well, year. nothing I make is, isn't beneficial. Everything is beneficial. And it's certainly vitamin K2, MK7. It's one of those products where I'm, I used to say this about CoQ10 or glucosamine. I used to always describe myself as sort of the lone voice in the wilderness that, <laughs> that the, the supermarkets were all busy selling their, their once daily multivitamin. And certainly I had a once daily multivitamin, but there were a lot of other ingredients that had just extremely important science, but none of the other companies at that point felt it was incumbent upon them to educate. So meanwhile, I wasn't selling much of these products, right. but I was devoting the time to education. So I've been devoting the time to educating about CoQ10 for 35 years, and probably for the first 20, <laughs> no one was really interested, <laughs> but they learned. 
And then eventually, when more and more of the public groundswell, and I think now with the internet, if I talk about something like vitamin K2, MK7, it could stimulate your curiosity. Yeah. You could go online after this show and you could do research and go, wow. He wasn't kidding, this is serious. And anyhow, with our products tonight, I think we have special pricing till midnight on the West Coast. Yeah. All of the pricing. Uh and I'm thrilled that we can, and you can see that. I mean, this is kind of the dark horse of the show. It's a product that doesn't get a lot of airtime, but and, you believe so much. And in it. what's important about vitamin K2 MK7 is it doesn't have, in terms of blood clotting, it's not the form of vitamin K that plays the role in blood clotting. So vitamin K2 MK7 is something that plays an entirely different role. It's an entirely different molecule. Right. We can't confuse the two because vitamin K1 will not provide these benefits. If you'd like to discover it, we'd love for you and, to. And by the way, it's called vitamin K because the whole family in German, uh, the word for coagulation begins with a K. Oh. So vitamin K1, which has everything to do with coagulation, which if you're taking anticoagulants, you don't want to take vitamin K1. Although that's a whole nother longer discussion that one day I will do a video about because actually you do want to supplement K1. You want to create a steady, stable amount of K1 in your body and then take the medication that you need because then if you consume K1 as part of green leafy vegetables, which you shouldn't have to avoid, um, you're not going to have that impact in your clotting. And, and of course, it's also important. It's been shown that um, vitamin, low vitamin K levels are one of the side effects of taking these, um, these different anti-clotting drugs, so these blood thinners. So it's something we all have to pay attention to. I'll do a video about that in the future because there's all sorts of great science and something that you'll be able to talk to your doctors about. If I was just half as smart as Andrew Lesson, ah. I'd be a very happy guy. I tell you, very happy. Maybe if I take Andrew's next product, it's going to help me think <laughs> sharp with memory sure. and brain. No, I... <laughs> My parents uh, blessed me with a good brain. It's, they really no, did. It's, and I, you know, I'm, I'm grateful. And, and I try to, as, uh, as my parents said, long before the Spider-Man movie came out, <laughs> sort of with, with a good mind comes great, <laughs> comes great responsibility. What did they say in Spider-Man? It was great, with great power comes great responsibility. Yes. No, but they always, because I was kind of lazy in school, they always said, it's, you know, you're, you have a responsibility. You need to use your, use your brain and use it well. Your brain is a lethal weapon, Andrew no. Lesson. But just don't no, no, hopefully not a lethal weapon. <laughs> hopefully, in a good way. hopefully something beneficial for for me and others. Yeah. Well, what happens to those of us who, and I think I speak for most of us, where we have those fuzzy days. We have those days where just nothing seems clear. We don't seem to be as sharp as we were. This is a product that can help that. Correct. Well, it's. It's the principal product I make in that regard. As we talked about the acetyl L-carnitine before, it's something that we added to our original memory and brain formula. It contains the botanicals and one of the hardest things, I just read an article today about sort of that, so many of the different ginkgo biloba um, products you're going to see on the market, botanicals in the market, they're not properly standardized. They're actually, they have inappropriate ingredients in them that one of the hardest things in making this product is ensuring that what's in the product is what's in the product. That we can meet the standardization on the label and we have to often reject materials because we test and assay everything that comes to our company. But what you're looking at here is a comprehensive formula, our most comprehensive formula in terms of supporting memory, concentration, mental acuity, to, to support us in the face of the, the normal changes that occur as we get older. Um, I haven't felt as though I've experienced any of those yet, and, and I'm not as young as I used to be, but I think the main reason is that I, I'm doing all the right things. And, and this isn't at the top of the list of the right things you can do. The best things you could do in terms of, of maintaining your mental faculties is staying physically active, mm. as physically active as your body permits. And that might just be moving around a little, walking around a little. So physically active, trying to be as close to your optimum weight as possible. Two very straightforward things that we never really associate with our, our brain health, but isn't it fascinating how our society has been struggling with neurological health over the last few decades, and as a society, our obesity and overweight is getting worse, our vitamin D and B12 deficiencies even worse. Mm -hmm. So, of course, this, this product delivers both of those nutrients, but again, it's something that we, we have to be cognizant of not just a, a supplement that can deliver support and promote the, the benefits in that regard, but the things we could do in terms of how we eat, and, and certainly a diet, more omega-3s in the diet, substituting other animal protein with fish, 
um, because fish delivers omega-3s and omega-3s, guess what your brain is principally made of? Omega-3s. Right. Our omega-3 product, do we talk about the fact that it focuses on DHA? Because DHA is 65% of the weight of the brain. It's, it's just, it's almost two thirds Amazing. of the weight of the brain. Who knew? So um, unfortunately, the way we eat traditionally in America, you know, I was raised sort of in a meat and potatoes household. Mm -hmm. I've had to re, I've had to adapt my diet based upon the research and the science I read if I want to be as healthy as possible. Well, we have 16 minutes left and we still oh, have wow. about seven more items and we're going to do it, Andrew. We're going, this, we're going this way. Um, um, talking... That's not possible. <laughs> I believe in us, Andrew. We're going to be um, sprinting up and back here. We, we could do it. We need to get those steps in, as we yes. said. Um, there are, there are many products that a lot of folks don't ever want to be without, and Ultimate Women's Wellness is certainly one of those that I know is a, 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 a fan favorite. In, in a nutshell, it's, we we've always talk about how certain of my products emulate certain diets from around the world. And, and this is a product, the key beneficial ingredient in this product is really taken from the Asian diet. It's, it's a standardized extract uh, of the soybean. And it's, of course, non-GMO soybean, but it's a standardized extract for these isoflavones that have been observed to diminish the natural, diminish or eliminate the natural symptoms of menopause. The hot flashes, the night sweats, the interruptions of sleep, the, the mood disturbances. And of course, menopause and perimenopause, it's an individual experience for each woman, but the underlying uh, chemistry of it is identical in each woman. So this is a product, you could read the reviews. Uh, I think uh, there's, it's probably rated, it's, I, I know it's a customer pick, so I know it's rated over four stars. Right. It's rated 4.4 stars out of 690 reviews. It's amazing. 500, is that 518 or 13? 518, 518. Yeah. are perfect five-star reviews, um, and plus the, the four-star reviews. So it's a product that, despite it coming with, a, with an enormous promise, it doesn't disappoint. And I think most, most folks, most women, wouldn't think that a simple, natural product can make such a difference. Again, I've been talking about this issue for 30 plus years. I talked about how the, the synthetic um, hormones uh, for menopause and perimenopause were, were not healthy, were increasing the risk of, of cancer in our society, specifically breast cancer. Eventually, that all became public information. And eventually, our habits have changed in that regard. If you want to do something with hormones around this time of life, then speak to an experienced physician endocrinologist who's going to work with bioidentical hormones. And, and there's also great science and research in that regard. But if you just want a natural tool, that can diminish those symptoms, the experience. I encourage you to read the reviews, and, and this truly delivers. Uh, the reviews are heartwarming and really significant, life-changing to read what so many, so many ladies are saying about Ultimate Women's Wellness. We're excited to share it with you tonight because, again, it is special pricing. So if something that you would like to try or you're skeptical, and skepticism's okay in life. It's yeah. good to be well, skeptical. Well, I... <laughs> I prefer, prefer, and I've said this before, I prefer everyone to be skeptical. Maybe being cynical isn't healthy, <laughs> but in our society, I think it's hard to sometimes not become cynical because so much isn't as it seems. Right. But, but I encourage everyone to sort of, to, to do the research, to learn as much as they can and to, to ask questions. And that's why at my company, I always mention this, if you have any issues, problems, questions about our product, questions about anything health and wellness related, um, call us. You could have our your doctor call us. It happens all the time. Our number is easy to remember. It's a free 800 call. So just remember 800-800-FREE. 800-800-FREE. That's 3733. And, and just call us and we're there for you. So that's unlike in this day and age on the internet, it's hard to find anybody to talk to. We're happy to talk to you. It, it's yeah. horrible, and we'll head over this way, but it's horrible when you're on a website and you're trying to find a phone number and you just can't find it. They won't let you see it. God forbid you find it. You God forbid find the you call them. But again, that's one of the things that I think in, in this day and age where there's so many sort of websites out there where you yeah. could buy anything and everything, that's what makes HSN unique is that um, it's live, we're really here, and there are cameras, you could see all the people in the call center who if you wanna, you could order online of course, but if you really wanna talk to somebody, it's as simple as picking up the phone. And I think that's disappearing in this day and age of uh, sort of impersonalized commerce where everything's made in 
another in China or Heaven wherever, and, why, yeah. and and so little is really supported and, and provided right here in America. Well, as Mom always said, it's what's on the inside that counts. But there can be no argument that when you <laughs> feel good on the outside, it also helps that feeling of confidence. Well, here it is, Andrew's number one most reordered product, the one that more people love, love, love. It is the most reviewed. I last looked, there were over four thousand, four thousand five. And now there's over five thousand uh, reviews. Over four thousand of them are perfect five stars. If it's dry, brittle nails, if it's split ends uh, and fine hair you're looking to have a bit more of a radiant glow about you you've got to try Andrew's healthy hair skin and nails I mean Andrew this should be on a pedestal with lights on it oh no it's it's become uh, out of nowhere I, when I first introduced this product it just was introduced because I at that time maybe in some ways I still do I took what we do very seriously right. and we were busy making omega-3 products making products that were for serious systems in our body the integumentary system our hair skin and nails most people don't even know the name of it it's, <laughs> they say hair skin and nails it's not the integumentary system but that integumentary system is the largest system in our body but I looked at this as being a vanity product that, that I wasn't going to be making a, a vanity product. Right. And uh, I was making products that dealt with real systems in our body that affected right. our quality of life. And so I made this product and we talked about it briefly and, and then all of a sudden realized over a matter of months, the inventory disappeared and we, we couldn't keep up with it and it was just reorders coming in, coming in and because wow. it, it preceded the internet, we didn't have any way to really know what was going on <laughs> and we weren't monitoring our inventory that closely because it just things usually were during the shows that things right. were being ordered. So it really took on a life of its own and then I started reading the letters and the comments on it and I realized there's probably no product that does more for what ails people right. than this product. There's no product that provides a benefit in a way that, because we all accept what's going on in our body and we try to do the best we can, but this is an area that I think people would love, they invest a great amount every year to get the best results possible, but everything we're doing is on the outside of our body. It's just, it's makeup, literally, whether it's hair, shampoo or conditioner or cleansing or moisturizers or whatever treatments. This goes to the core of how these tissues are made it goes to, it is the very source of those tissues. So it's one of the most common sense products, but I think the reason why we get so many reviews is because people are astounded. And I think you review a product, if you have a horrible experience, um, if you have a good experience, you probably don't, but if you have a surprisingly good experience, you do. And I think that partly I say, because my industry provides so many bad experiences, <laughs> people get awfully surprised when they get a product like this that they just anticipate. They've tried all the different beauty vitamins in the supermarket, in the health food stores, and they've had terrible results. And they expect, okay, it's a money back, you read the reviews. Money back guarantee, I had nothing to lose. And little did I expect that this product would actually perform. Well, there it is. I mean, I, uh, and we could honestly spend, we could dedicate a two hour show just to reading reviews on this product. Um, we have a lot of folks taking advantage for obvious reasons. Even the larger size is under $80 tonight. What's most important and, to which, me. Which, by the way, is it's about 15 cents a capsule. And the way the product is currently made, the way the product originally made 20 years ago, right. you had to take two capsules. And when you took two capsules then, you got a quarter of what you get right. today. So it's better actually, than no, you get an eighth of what you get today, sorry. So at one capsule today, you could take one capsule. I, and I'd say probably half the people who use it now take one capsule, the rest take two capsules daily. And if you look in our graphics, you'll see something so important because it, it's okay, it's the human condition that we wanna see results and we wanna see them right now. Well, you're gonna see visible results in less than 30 days. That's a remarkable thing, Andrew. And that's, well, that's, that's the key, that it's a product that you can count on delivering <laughs> And, and it's something that, a money back guarantee is, is something that I hope people don't take advantage <laughs> of. Um, but, but if you're not pleased, I insist that you take advantage of it. But my products, the interesting thing is, my product with the lowest return rate, last time we looked, was healthy hair, skin and nails wow. in the largest size. So it's a product that delivers, uh, it's a product that has science behind it, and it has the experience of, well it has experience of tens of thousands, but it has experience, uh, it has the reviews of thousands of people you could count on. We're gonna go say hi to Donna. Donna, welcome to the show. You're watching us live on the Monday Night Show. Donna, please meet Andrew. 
Hello, Andrew. Hi, Donna. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for taking my call. Oh, I, you're welcome. I have to say you're the only um, person that makes vitamins that I trust. Oh, thank or you. Or any, any supplement. Thanks. And um, I wish I could purchase all of them, but I, I simply can't. And I have a question. If you could explain a little bit of the difference between that acyl... Uh, carnitine and the energy and fat metabolism. Sure. And because you said it all helps you burn fat and, it, and it's good for the brain, that and the memory right. and brain. So the, if I had to select just one, can you tell me a little bit what's different about them and which should I purchase? What would your goal be? Is your goal to burn fat? Is your goal to support your, your brain, memory, mental function or both? Uh, both. Um, then I would I would recommend getting the the energy and fat because the energy and fat metabolism factors because the acetyl L carnitine it's present in both and acetyl L carnitine is a specific molecule and the carnitine in that molecule is what your body uses to move fat to the site where it gets burned it, it's something that our body can make but it's something that when we want to mobilize that fat in, in most cases it's something that we have to adapt to that as we do more of the work necessary to burn fat our body creates more of the tools necessary to burn that fat. So what's nice is when you use a product like that and get the acetyl L-carnitine, it's not selectively just going to fat burning, it also is available for the brain because it's also been shown. And, and specifically, again, while the, the acetyl part is important in creating the neural transmitter acetylcholine, but it's also the carnitine because our brain relies on fat metabolism, the carnitine's important to burning fat to providing energy in our brain. So that would be the best way to go. And it's okay. just the acetyl carnitine is a molecule, but uh, memory and brain or energy and fat are both comprehensive formulas that have other nutrients as well. Could you take them both together? Yes, you can. And they're okay. all designed, we make sure that all the other ingredients, we've lowered the levels of B vitamins over the years as we've created more formulas that contain B vitamins, so there's no risk of overdosing or getting too much. Great. Thank right. you so much. All right, you're Thank welcome, you, Donna. Donna. Great Take question. Care. Great, Great question. Um, I, I know we're kind of, are we wrapping up on healthy hair? Oh, good. We have about 60 seconds more. Um, there's a lot here and a lot to absorb and a lot to take in. But, uh, you know, when you talk about nails and, you know, my mum has been uh, involved in the nail industry for my entire life, so she's all about the nails. Don't look at my nails right now, but if your nails are brittle, if they're always breaking, if your hair has got lots of split ends, this is a product that can really help. And I don't think there's one host that doesn't take it ages. And, and the ingredients in this product are the ingredients that a typical dermatologist or nutritionist or dietitian would recommend if someone was having issues with their skin or hair and nails. And even though a product like this, of course, is not designed to treat any medical conditions that pertain to, pertain to our hair, skin, or nails. You know, as I said with glucosamine in our joints, that simply supporting healthy hair, sitting, simply supporting those tissues in a healthy fashion requires these nutrients. Mm. They're not drugs or medicines treating something. So you should do whatever you need to do with your doctor, your dermatologist to deal with those issues. But it's just basic common sense that even a challenged tissue requires the nutritional support that a healthy tissue deserves, and I think deserves it just as much or more. I'm excited for you to try it. Right. We have two more quick things we need to get to. A brief mention on phytoceramides. Andrew, why do I, what, what are they all about? Phytoceramides, it's, it's, we've had this for a number of years. It's a product that's becoming more and more popular. You typically see it in topical products, but if it's beneficial in a topical product, it's much more beneficial internally because phytoceramides are the natural molecule within our body that allows our cells to best retain its moisture. Our body uses fats, cholesterol, ceramides to retain moisture in the cells. So to the extent you want to, you want to perform moisturizing of your skin internally, and it's been observed in clinical studies, you deliver the ceramides that can be incorporated into the skin. Phyto simply means they're derived from plants. You can derive ceramides from other animals. We prefer to derive those ceramides from plants. We're gonna head over here. One more item, and I'm really excited we get to do this. Alpha lipoic acid. A lot of folks have been asking about it. We are gonna squeeze this one in. Andrew, Quickly. this always gets a big surge of interest. Yeah, alpha lipoic acid, it's an ingredient that's often referred to as sort of the sister product 
to CoQ10. Uh -huh. When you look at the, the most powerful individually identified molecules, typically we're talking about CoQ10, we're talking about alpha lipoic acid. What's great about alpha lipoic acid, when you look at the most powerful antioxidants in the body, um, you look at something like glutathione peroxidase, and alpha lipoic acid supports our own natural production of glutathione peroxidase. Alpha lipoic acid supports healthy carbohydrate, healthy blood sugar metabolism. It's referred to often, interestingly enough, as, as the universal antioxidant. We might even have that in the graphics. Do we? No, uh, we don't. No. Um, it should be in the graphics. We'll do I, it. I write those, so <laughs> I must. Uh, I blame you. I, I blame myself. <laughs> so it's all my fault. Um, but it, by universal antioxidant, what alpha lipoic acid means is that a typical antioxidant, vitamin C, is water soluble. It's only going to exist in a water environment in our body. And our body is sort of a how would you say, kind of schizophrenic, it has two worlds. <laughs> and one world is lipid, the other world is water. So, and the two, obviously water and oil, don't meet, don't match, don't mix. So, what alpha lipoic acid has, this unique potential, it can be happy in a water-based environment, happy in a lipid fat-based environment. That's why it's referred to as the universal antioxidant. It goes everywhere. It goes into aqueous environments, it also goes into our brain, which remember what I said before, two-thirds of our brain by weight are omega-3 fatty acids, DHA, so the brain is typically a fatty structure, so an antioxidant, a protective compound like alpha lipoic acid is extremely important for tissues like that. So, but what's great about alpha lipoic acid is just its universality. It goes everywhere. It gets along with everyone. So, the, I mean, this is covering a broad spectrum of different functionality in terms of what yep. it's supporting. And plus, our original alpha lipoic acid product was a 200 milligram formula. It's a difficult ingredient to encapsulate. And now our current alpha lipoic acid and the form we use to be able to encapsulate it is a very, very unique form and an outrageously expensive form, is it really? which I, I marvel that it's available at the price it is given the cost of our special form of alpha lipoic acid, that we have to go all the way to Germany to get it because the other forms of alpha lipoic acid from China, from America can't compare to this form from Germany. Its stability, it, it's just, it's purity because the other forms of alpha lipoic acid contain all sorts of uh, contaminants, solvents that I don't like, whereas this form is completely pure. It's by far and away the, the best source of alpha lipoic, of, uh, alpha lipoic acid available, but I would imagine less than 1% of the alpha lipoic acid available in America comes from the source that, that we get it from, specifically because it costs about five times more. And I think that has to be one of the main reasons why and, there is such a surge of interest and, in this one. And, and when I'm next in Europe, I'm going to Germany to <laughs> inquire about them either helping us manufacture the product in the United States or, or supporting us because I would like to, I'd like to see if I could, as great as this price is relative to its cost, I'd right. like to see it even be less expensive. The man never sleeps. He's always working for a healthier mind, body, and <laughs> trying, soul. Trying, trying. Andrew, sir, thank you as oh, always. You're welcome, Adam. My pleasure. Thanks, everyone. And I hope I answered enough of your questions. I'll continue to do videos that answer your questions. I know that's the most important thing I can do, especially between the shows, is get you as much information as I can so you could live as healthy a life as you'd like to. We're going to see Andrew back at the end of February? The end of February for a, a very quick visit, just for a few hours. Yes, very exciting. And if there's anything that you've seen you want to order, it is all available right now now on that special pricing from all of us here on the Monday Night Show. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. Thanks. Colleen's next. Goodbye, everybody. I first got my start by having a very bad habit of spending a lot of money on jewelry. And I saw that I could buy some beads and try to do this myself. I'll never forget the first time I put a necklace together. I thought, well, this is fun and this is beautiful. It was so thrilling because, you know, I started from nothing. And many of the pieces that are in my collection today I have been there for like 20 and 30 years. Great looking pieces that